Alright. We're live. Sup, ladies and gentlemen, Ackle on here, and welcome back to each one of you. And of course, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. I am very happy to have you here. If you're watching this over on YouTube, remember to follow us over on Twitch to be part of these conversations live as they happen. How's everyone doing today? Let me know in the comments section down below. Or if you're already in chat, in chat, how are you guys doing? All right, and now we just wait. We play the waiting game until people finally join. Because I don't have a starting soon screen. Because I'm a pro streamer. <laughs> uh, fuck my life, right? I, I, I forgot there's one more place I want to post shit at. Uh, I think this would work. Mm, let's just quickly do this. CDJ, how you doing, bro? How you doing, brother? Um, get some spaces here. Make it look a little bit nicer. Image, upload an image. Why not? Get that bad boy in here. Um, reposition this. Fuck. Is there no way to... Never mind. I I'm guessing it's fine. Lunavira, how you doing? Uh, right. And uh, we'll hit publish and all these bad boys and see, see where things go. Right? See where things go. How's your day been? What are you guys up to? Alright, that's fine. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. <laughs> As usual. New record for early. I want to die. Why? Do you not want to be this early, Luna? Are you, are, are you upset with yourself that you arrived this fucking early i mean you do know that i always start streaming at the exact same time having a chill vaccination tomorrow then biltong and a few beers in the evening cdj nice well that but also fuck school oh shit ask school going lena uh i called the return of valor a week into shadowlands drakbane good call we spoke about this last night legit last night during our conversation we spoke about this uh, making a return so it's actually quite nice to see it coming back. It is actually quite nice. Uh, I think uh, one more... One more post that needs something. A little bit of love. Why not? There we go. Let Discord know that we're live as well. Should be good, right? Have you know, your stream always starts at the point in time when the rest of my classes don't matter to me. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> Valor is useless for casuals, though. So they'll have to throw them a bone somewhere. Do we know when we're getting the Valor Badges back? Uh, this will be at the launch of 9.0.5. Miss GT Sparkles. At the launch of 9.0.5. That's when we'll get that. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing halfway through March. Maybe towards the end of March. Although I have the sneaky suspicion we might see patch 9.0.5. Actually around early March. Is it really though? You have to deal with my stupid ass unless I decide to sleep through them. Well, you don't you don't have to s decide to sleep through them either, do you, Luna? You usually just show up and then you go, fuck it, I'm going to go sleep for a bit. You farm points for Mythic Plus and World Quest. Can upgrade Mythic Plus gear, but no others, I think. Yeah, we're going to be talking about that and a lot more tonight because there's a lot that goes into the Valor change uh, that I think people need to realize. It's not the same as the old Valor system. Right? Which is actually a good thing, by the way. I do think that the, that it is a great thing um, that they're not that, that they're not making it the way that it used to be, where raids would also somehow be tied to valor points, and then you would just get this bloat that you can't take care of. So we're going to be talking about all of that and more. I have no shame in my lack of interest in school. It's quite uh, inconceivable. I mean, to be fair, I did not care about school either. Uh, Covenant changes live on MMO Champion. I'm looking at Wowit right now to see if there is any sort of changes. Uh, they do seem to have them here as well. 16 hours ago, Shadowlands patch, time PTR, class and spell changes, Covenant changes. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Um, setting up for the discussion tonight. Why nerf Malefic Rupture? Fuck you, Blizzard. Malefic Rupture isn't that overpowered. In my school, to be honest. 
why? Can I need your approval on this and your streaming? The BlizzCon discussion, should I cut out the Torghast discussion for its own video? Because that's a massive subject and takes quite a lot, uh, a lot of time. Or do you just want a close to one hour long video about the BlizzCon line predictions? No, maybe cut out the, the Torghast one. If you can make a full video out of the Torghast one, you can cut it into two. Because the Torghast one was sort of a... It was a discussion that laid from the main discussion, right? It wasn't actually... Yeah, for some reason, we just started talking about Torghast quite heavy. Um, so I think if you can cut it out to make it its own, own video, just let me know what you need from me. If you need an intro or something like that to, to make it better, then sure. Alex, you're, you're more than welcome to do that. I don't miss school, right? I miss the carelessness of school. So I miss the fact that I didn't have to give a shit about money or rent or life in general. Things just sort of happened, right? My bedroom would be dirty the one day and clean the next day. And God knows how that happened. Um, my life, like there would just always be food on the table. As you can see, there was always food in the house. Um, so I miss that about childhood, but I do not miss school per se. School was fucked up, right? And I, I'm not saying this as someone who was bullied in school. I was one of the popular kids. So you, you should think that I would have had a, a lovely time in school. I genuinely did not have a lovely time in school. Um, school is boring to me. Are you gonna need an intro? I'll just wait with that part of the video. All right, Alex, I'll make the intros right after my power comes back. So I'm gonna have to, we're gonna do a short stream again tonight because my power's going out again tonight. Um, but then as soon as my power comes back on, I'll do the intros for you. I may or may not have found my porno mags. Oh, Miss GT Sparkers, that's not good. I never had porno mags, so that I think that's helpful. Uh, I've never actually owned a, a, a porno mag. So, yeah. Totally interested in the domination rune system and what it implies. I saw that as well. People started linking it to me on Discord, and I genuinely did not fucking know. How to do with the DD, uh, either image sources or stuff in game. Apocalypse, how you doing, bro? They buffed Demon Hunter Torghast. How much easier can it be? All right, so let's quickly see here. What else do we need? What else do we need to look at? Obviously, we're going to look at this. Embercore, Fibber now acknowledges raid gearing issues. That's going to be an interesting topic to sort of discuss. Um... My PTR achievements don't give a shit about achievements. Do you guys want to talk about achievements? Because I really don't care about them. Messi, how are you doing? I'm procrastinating on 20 different things right now. <laughs> well, if you're if you have time, then just keep procrastinating. Just keep procrastinating. I don't give a shit about achievements. I don't play the game for achievements. So um if you guys want to go through the achievements, we can. But personally, I don't really give a shit. Also, I don't like going through data mine content. I will just say this. Uh, there's a couple of things I do want to discuss that we already know exactly what it entails. The problem with data mining is it always excites people for what could happen. And then usually turns out that it wasn't as cool as people thought it was. That's usually how it fucking turns out. Funny got uh, last night after 115 wipes. Congratulations, Rhino. Congratulations on getting Denathrius down. Really fucking, really fucking happy for you. I have not even done a single boss in uh, <laughs> in the raid. See, I want to hang out with a friend later, but I need to take care of the cat uh, and ferret litter to make the house not smell icky. I also need to wash my hair. Oh, it's that kind of friend, is that, uh, Luna? Alari, how you doing? Pumunki, how you doing, bro? Oh, you're just saying hello. Never mind. I actually discussed with you already. Sorry, I'm torn between two places. I'm looking at the website and thinking about what needs to be discussed. And then I'm also looking at chat. So I'm sort of losing my place in all of that. I'm sick of how my hair feels. Then wash it. I wash my hair every single day. I don't know how people do it once a week or twice a week. I genuinely don't know how people do it. The runes? The, the uh, domination runes. We can talk about them. If anyone fucking knows what it actually means, we can talk about them. It is interesting that their icons is Rooney, right? It's very much Rooney.
Maybe we'll learn more about what it actually means. What I find most interesting is that there's only one that's yellow. Well, it could just be that that's what's Dartomite right now. There might be more yellow ones. Like, the yellow ones might be upgrades of the blue ones or some shit like that. I think it's most likely going to be uh, legendary crafting stuff. Maybe once I start making my own hair washes. What do you mean? I, ju I don't just because I of how my hair is. I wait till it's noticeably difficult to work with for its health. I guess when you have very long hair, that, that sort of makes sense. But even then, I wash my hair every single day. Like, my hair is quite long right now. Let's just quickly see here. My hair is quite fucking long right now. Wait right, to so that. That's my hair at the moment. It's not it's not the longest, obviously, but it's not short either. It is not fucking short either. And it is Yeah, I still wash it every single day. I want craftable Lego weapon. The mats could come from raids uh, and doing harder content. I mean, don't we already kind of do that, Elodie? I literally cut all my hair off the other night. Got tired of getting hair into my headset. Um, I want to cut it all off, but then at the same time, I think to myself, fuck, then I'm going to have to regrow it at some point. But I do want to just shave it all off. Just go bald again for like a couple of months. But then, yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to want to grow it again. I'm tempted to shave my head every day. I wouldn't shave it like fucking full on, but like a zero, you know, the clippers. Or I heard the other day that people in America call them buzzers for some reason. I don't know why they're called buzzers there, but the clippers. You guys know what clippers are, right? Just no, uh, like, just the zero on the clippers. I think that would work fucking perfectly for me right now. Just wake up every morning and not have to deal with hair everywhere. Um, especially when I'm sleeping. Like, when I'm sleeping, I fucking loathe my hair. Getting all over my face and shit, it just gets really annoying. I would do wigs. Why would you do wigs, Pumanki? I just don't want to risk my hair getting thinner due to chemicals and the hair care products. I don't know how people use so many, but my preferred styles is simple. It's uh, usually braided or curled. You can get hats with wigs. Why? Why would you want wigs? Isn't your normal hair better than a wig? I mean, if we're going to start moving into an era where the fashion is women getting wigs, I I I'm tapping out. Like I'm fucking tapping out of the system. I'm more than I'm already tapped out of the system. Because they buzz cut. Yeah, but there's still... you. Can't, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Uh, we were talking about shaving all, all off for easiness. Bring back the skullet. Benjamin Franklin. Pop it off with style. I don't know, though. The old hairstyle seems to be a lot of work, Rhinos. Like, it does be... Like, the old hairstyles just look like a lot of work. I've been tempted to do a mullet for a while, by the way. Just as, just for the lols. But I've been tempted to do, like, a proper fucking mullet. I think that would be cool as fuck to do a mullet, by the way. Uh, but it would take a while to get to mullet length. But I have been tempted. I've, I've been tempted to do, like, a proper fucking hillbilly mullet. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. What's a powdered wig? Chef, how you doing, bro? What is a powdered wig? Do with my hair all the time, and it would be easy for cosplays. I guess if you're doing a lot of uh, cosplay, Puma Key, that makes sense. Um, don't a lot of cosplay girls do wigs anyways? 
But it's my understanding that a lot of girls who do cosplay basically do wigs all the fucking time. Victorian time wigs? Yeah, I, I wouldn't do a wig. I think that shit would be annoying as fuck. That's what they wore in colonial times. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Artist my man, how you doing, bro? Right after I shower when it's still damp, so that two days later I can undo them and have calls for five days. Well that that's thinking ahead. What do you cosplay, now, Twain? I don't cosplay. I don't ever fucking cosplay. I've never cosplayed in my life. I've never even dressed up for a party in my life. So don't look at me. There's nothing you can ask me as, as it pertains to fucking cosplay. What if the yellow rune is from light and the rest from death? Why would they show Frostmourne side, side, side? Frostmourne side beside the, uh, with the yellow rune. Could of course just be visualization from Wowed. This is almost definitely visualization from Huawei. Um, Alex, so if you look at this, they're they're basically just saying that the runes are similar to the runes that we see on Frostmourne and the runes that we see on the Jailer. Zimmerman, very happy to have you here, bro. I did wigs and wig caps and having to deal with my hair took time. I did cons two times a month till COVID hit. Holy shit, Pumanki. So you're a hardcore cosplay. Fucking hardcore cosplay. I don't think... I think that's more... Uh, like, events or cons than what South Africa has in, in in total. Just get to choose a rune to augment your legendary. And maybe we will upgrade something to allow more runes. Like Heart of Azeroth and Essences. I think that would be an interesting system. We're, we're definitely going to be talking about the runes tonight as well. We'll talk about everything that's coming in patch 9.1. And then, of course... Uh, what Blizzard themselves have rightfully said is coming in 9.1. So we'll discuss all of that. So thanks, how you doing, bro? And this visualization, it's still very interesting that there's only one yellow. The one yellow bothers me, but it could also, like I said, be just early data mining, right? They haven't found the other yellow ones yet. So there, there's still much that we need to learn and much that we need to see, I suppose. You see, I can't, like, Luna, the, the way you wash your hair, I can't fucking stand that. Like, on myself, I don't give a fuck about what you do. That's your life. But for me, right, I need to wash my hair every single day. The, the second my hair starts to feel oily, I lose my shit. And you would think that at a certain length, my hair stops being oily so fast. But if I don't wash my hair every single day, the next day my hair is... A oil an oily mess it can do t about i can do about hmm, let's say let's say 36 hours before my hair becomes oily any chance that the jailer has Elune captured and he needs the light from the boy king to break some bond she has so the jailer can take her full power or something like that little interesting theory but from what we can tell Elune is definitely not captured right She seems to be free to do whatever she wants. Now, if she was captured, we would have had some kind of indication that that has happened, right? Do a full, um, full cost Bayonetta cosplay and not feel bad about it. The fuck is Bayonetta? requires oil or it becomes dry and brittle you see i've got the opposite thing my brother is the same his hair he, like he washes his hair with um like dry and damaged shampoo because his hair is extremely dry like it dries out very quickly i have the opposite effect like i have literally the opposite my hair gets extremely oily which is very healthy for it right because the oil gives back the nutrients to make sure that your hair doesn't split ends and shit like that but it's annoying because I have to wash my hair every single day. Otherwise, it's just a nightmare. Since there is a cap on Valor, in theory, you still want to attempt to get the highest natural item level 
of that item from Mythic Plus from a plus 15, so you have less incremental upgrades and therefore spend less valor to upgrade. I just spray my hair with water and brush it. It's kind of like a, a quick rinse when it's oily because it's only at the roots of my hair. You stole all the oil. Careful so the US don't hear it. I mean, if the US wants to invade my country to get me out of there, uh, out of here, I'd be happy, dude. I am so pissed off with my country. I Like, legit today, normally I just roll with it. Like, normally I say, oh, well, you know, another day, another fuck up. But for some reason today, I woke up and I... Uh, when I, when I woke up and I saw that last night we dealt with uh, with power cuts because they were trying to fix, like, they were trying to get the emergency reserves back up. Then today, we're dealing with power cuts because one of the generators broke down. And we don't have any emergency reserves for some reason, even though just last night, they, they were getting the emergency reserves right again. Yeah? But now a generating unit broke down and we have fucking stage three load shitting again. It's just like, dude, come on. What the fuck are we doing here? Like, why am I still here? I don't know why the fuck I live in this country. I wait a few more years before trying to get to the US. We're kind of in a shit spot. I mean, at this point, I will go anywhere, dude. At this point, I don't even give a fuck. It doesn't have to be the US. I just need to get out of this shithole. Um... I'll, I'll figure out how to get to the U.S. after I'm out of the shithole. Um, so I might start looking next month after I've moved the house. Because right now I just need to move house and get that shit out of the way. Get the studio set up again and shit like that. But once I've moved house, I might start looking into Ireland. Chef, no. No. Because of a loophole that for some reason fucking exists that no one understands um south africa is part of the commonwealth but the rules that apply for the commonwealth does not apply for south africa so basically it states that any country that joined the commonwealth after i believe it's 1978 isn't allowed um like isn't allowed all the privileges of the commonwealth um now south africa left the commonwealth in 1976 i think or 1977 and we rejoined the commonwealth in 1979 and because of that gap year for some reason south africa doesn't apply when it comes to the the freedoms that the commonwealth offer so no i, I can't move to the uk or to canada or to any of those countries um without meeting their bare minimum visa requirements which isn't bare minimum uh you need a degree of some kind there, there's all sorts of shit the u.s welcomes you zon the problem is it doesn't really the u.s really doesn't welcome me uh the u.s is my, might be the hardest country to get into my friend already investigated this and icon wise it looks like the yellow is an odd one out but then again it's only icons between me flicking uh, between four screens and five conversations and Akko being ADHD, it's hard to get an answer occasionally. What's the answer that you want? What do you want an answer on? Come to the UK. Joker, the UK is also very difficult for me to get into. The easiest country for me to get to is, uh, is uh, Ireland. Coast Guards, how you doing, bro? Scandinavian countries is also very difficult to fucking get into. Gotta get how you doing. Zahn, I would never do that. I would never do that. I am a firm believer in following the laws of a country. And the laws of a country states that you can't just walk over the border and call yourself a citizen of that country. And since I, if I do move to the US or any country really for that matter, I would want to move there and eventually become a legal citizen. I wouldn't want to live there in fear of not being, you know, of being discovered and then being kicked out. So I respect the laws of countries uh, way too much to, to break the law upon fucking entry. Um, what time is go for you on Friday for D&D &D with load shedding? Apocalypse, too early to tell. So let's just quickly see. I don't know when the how long the, the load shedding is gonna last for. Um that that might change things a bit. I also don't know what stage we're gonna be on. Because there's stage one to stage eight for load shedding. 
right? Right now we're on stage three. Um, I have Wednesday, Thursday. Let's see what Fridays looks like. So I should be back. If it stays at stage three or goes to stage two and we still have it on Friday, um, I will start this, the Friday stream half an hour later because my power will only come back uh, at 6.30. It is now... It's now 15 minutes past six, right? So my power will only come back in 15 minutes from now. But then I won't have load shitting again. Um, even if it goes to stage four, no problem. Stage... All the way to stage eight, I should be fine. For So yeah, regardless of what stage we're on, uh, when it comes to... Um, Load shitting and we should be fine for Friday. You're a good man. Thank you for respecting our laws. Zahn, yeah, well, without if you're if your very first act being in a country is breaking the fucking law, then maybe that's not a good thing, right? Since your parents are German, as you said, aren't you eligible for a German citizenship? Again, no. Because my my parents don't come from Germany. Their parents' parents come from Germany. So my on my father's side, the, his family arrived in Germany in 1830, uh, in South Africa in 1838. On my mother's side, her family actually arrived even earlier, right? So, um, in Ger for German citizenship or for a German visa, ancestral visa, it, it can't be more than three generations on the father's side. So the mother's side doesn't matter for German uh, German visas. It must be three generations on the father's side. Um, What's load shedding? Uh, load shedding is where my country doesn't plan and has no backup plan, and then they run out of electricity uh, or electricity generation for the country. I thought your parents were German, not your grandparents. My bad. No problem, dude. I mean, it is what it is, right? The amazingness of the patriarchy. Luna, I don't think it's that's ha that has anything to do with the patriarchy. It, it just has to do with lineage, right? It's to make it easier. If you think about it, if you could claim on both sides, the amount of research that the host country needs to do to verify, it just doubles in work, right? So having to process 10 million people a day on both sides, it just makes it impossible. You're going to get way too many people in. So having it narrowed down to only on the father's side, it just makes it easier. So I don't think that's a patriarchy thing. Um... Then again, we do have distant, different views on this sort of thing. Uh, why does your country control your power supply so much? Don't you have... Uh, don't you pay uh, for the power you use? Kali K... Okay, so... South Africa is a weird country. The power utility, according to the laws of South Africa, is ESCOM. ESCOM is government-owned. The government owns the company. It, it pays itself salaries as if it's a private company, but it, it it's it's a government owned com company it is a government controlled monopoly no other company in south africa is allowed to generate power for the grid only escom they are the only ones allowed to do that now in recent years the government has sort of been forced to relax the laws a little bit but they're very slow on implementing the actual legislation that would allow for private companies to provide power to the citizens of south africa um so that means that when the power's out, the power's out. And when ESCOM doesn't do its fucking job, it doesn't do its fucking job and we don't have power. And there's nothing we can do about it. There's no arguments or nothing. And it's so stupidly expensive, stupidly expensive for um, power walls. The, you know the, the Tesla power walls? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So I think, yeah, you would be able to get a, an ancestral visa. Just make the people look it up the, uh, for themselves and uh, build an easy system for verification, though that's not simple, so it makes sense. I do know that my great-grandma came from China, so that's a vibe. The Tesla power walls is stupidly expensive in South Africa. It's like fucking... Uh, it's like 30k US dollars for one Tesla power wall. And then it's not always even enough to provide you with power for a day. It's like, I think the smallest one is like 30k US dollars. So it is stupid expensive to, to put up power walls uh, so that you can get off the fucking grid. Um, but I am looking at it. No government can efficiently run anything. No, governments are completely fucking useless. 
hence why I hate governments. But let's not get into it. My mods will have a fucking heart attack if we get into it. Um, my mods will legit lose their shit if we get into it. So we're going to hang out for a little bit more and then we're going to get into the topic for the night. We're just waiting for everyone to sort of filter in, make yourselves comfortable, and then we'll we'll get into the topic for the night and then we'll play something, whatever the fuck we're going to play. Um, I wanted to play some of the patch 9.1, but really there is no patch 9.1 things to get into. That's the problem, right? Um, on the PTR, I've been on the PTR earlier today. It's legit nothing. There, there's nothing to to really go into. Um, there's nothing I can show you. Oh, that would actually fucking rock, Luna. That would actually rock. Very, very anime, though. Just know it's Autumn Wheel. Have a lot, have lots of circles of stars. Roma Gaming, yeah, but... To what extent? I'm eligible for Italian dual citizenship, but the paperwork is a pain in the ass. I visited the town both my grandparents came from. It's such a small town, everyone knows each other. I got to visit City Hall and see the records. Incredible to see everything still being kept in their original form, handwritten and tons of books. I mean, there's a lot of history in Europe, right? That's the one thing that I think Europe has that, that is really alluring, is the history of it. Just the, the historical um, relevancy of that place. We'll just mean the fuck out of you if you continue. I mean, I don't mind the memes. Everyone has cheese, chef. We have cheese in South Africa. <laughs> but no, uh, Ireland is the easiest country for South Africans to move to. By a mile. Because uh, as a South African citizen, you have three months to move to Ireland. Right? You can move to Ireland for three months. And if you can find a job there, you can stay. Uh, if you can't find a job, you have to fuck back home. But I'm going to try and see if I can just move there and just say, hey, I don't need a job. I have a job. Can I just live here, please? I'll pay taxes. Do I transcribe everything digitally? Uh, I'd be there years. Well, would you like to live in Italy? Before we get into the wild talk, do you think Blizz is ever going to make a StarCraft RPG since the RTS game is dead? Genre is dead. No. I don't know if they ever will. The thing is, Blizzard isn't a great company when it comes to making RPGs. You would love uh, live in the Alpen? Where's the Alpen? The full history of Asia and specific places like Ireland and Scotland and shit. Come live here. Live where, chef? I miss the golden age of the RTS genre. Don't we fucking all? I miss RTS games. Still part of the EU, Bulgaria. Yeah, but again, very hard to get into. Guys, you have to understand something. The South African fucking passport is literally second on the list of fucking countries. We have so few countries we can actually move to in South Africa. Um, they Freely, just, just with our passport. So really... Yeah, it's not going to fucking happen. And Sathix, to your question about uh, the StarCraft RPG, Blizzard is, in my opinion, not a great company when it comes to the creation of RPGs. They don't make good RPGs. Like, Blizzard, to me, doesn't make good RPGs. They, they make amazing macro stories, but when you think RPG... And you think something like CD Projekt Red, you think companies like Larian Studios, you think companies even like um, Oblivion, uh, Obsidian, excuse me. Blizzard doesn't do that. They, they don't make games that way. So I don't know if an RPG could ever work the way. Rockstar, but Rockstar is a little bit different, right? Uh, Rockstar's games play a little bit different because Rockstar's, Rockstar is more into the open world game genre and then attaching RPGs to that. So Rockstar would still be great RPG makers, but I don't I don't necessarily consider them the same as Larian Studios or Obsidian in that regard. They would probably be closer to someone like uh, CD Projekt Red. I was going to be confused when the power supply is constant. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to fucking do with myself.
Do I have Fable in my mouth? Oh, I want Fable. I just want Fable 4. Final stop for the Titanic's voyage, really? Well, I'm... I think I would enjoy living in, in Ireland. I would enjoy not understanding the people and therefore not having to talk to them. Um, plus, from what I've heard, it always rains and it's always cold. My type of country. Denasia J, thank you very much for the 100 pence. I really fucking appreciate that. Disclaimer, I can't spell. Why does the Archon still have the Kyrian harboring souls to the more if she now knows the Jailer is doing things? Uh, good question, Tenacious J. A, a question we've been asking for a while now. Why do they keep ferrying the souls when they just... When they just send all those souls to the mall? Because this is literally what is happening now, right? This is literally what's happening now. Every soul that moves into the Shadowlands now goes to the mall. They could stop this instantly by just not taking the souls to the soul stream. And yet they never do. They never stop. That's the point. They are so brainwashed and they believe so much in the purpose that even this is part of the purpose plan, right? They all speak English. They're just kind of guttural in their pronunciation, I think. No, no. The Irish, uh, the Irish do speak English. Although I know Scotland is Gaelic and there is a different version of that in Ireland as well. Isn't there? Any Irish people in fucking chat that can back that up or dispute that? Dan Mahido, bro. Yeah, they, I think they have Celtic as well. Gaelic is the, the, the Scottish one. And then the Irish have Celtic. But I don't think there's many Irish that still speak uh, Celtic. Intergalactic, how are you doing? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard Gaelic spoken before. It's a fucking interesting language. The Welsh have which language again? What's the Welsh language called? Can't just be called Welsh. It has to have a different fucking name. But the Welsh have their own language as well. It's triggered by Celtic being pronounced Celtic. Well, you would pronounce it Celtic. We wouldn't pronounce it Celtic here. The C would be would be an S. Kind of like eighty percent of the Welsh don't speak their native language. Most just speak English. Jack Rover, what's the Welsh language called? You're, you're Welsh, so tell us what the Welsh language is called. To be honest, I think they all know it, just it's not their main language in their uh, daily lives. Is it called just Welsh? All right, but basically all you need to have is consonants in the language, right? Uh, to be honest, uh, it's not really, no. Um, it's not even like 80% knows it. I know, for example, in Scotland, the vast majority of Scots don't speak Gaelic anymore, especially the young people don't understand it. They can't speak it. And the same with Welsh. The majority of people can't understand or speak it. There's a small subset of people that can actually speak Welsh and that, that can understand it to some extent. But it is dying languages, right? It is dying languages. It's languages that just no longer really, f especially because young people no longer hold on to it. Which is sort of weird, because in South Africa, you would think the same thing is happening. Because South Africa is mainly English, uh, you would think that the young people have... Um, uh, you would think that young people would speak English more. And yet in South Africa, there seems to be this revival of the Afrikaans language, where more and more young people are now becoming super afrikaans like they they don't even mix their languages anymore they refuse to use english words instead of afrikaans words it's like this new revival of the language so to speak i don't speak welsh and i, I, I know nobody that speaks welsh a scot speak orwellian new speak all hail big nicola <laughs> more welsh speak welsh than scottish speak gaelic and cornish speak cornish wait cornish is an actual language apocalypse i thought it was just a different uh dialect really disrupt how you doing bro we need to get you 15 keys ready my dude man uh, too much effort sounds like a lot of effort kind of sad the european countries are losing their languages they're so interesting especially the music 
I wouldn't say can you need it on I can. I can, yeah. Lolly, Lolly first, I can it verstaan. Tot op een punt. So that is, that is zekere woorde wat niet altijd my sin maak nie. Maar tot op een punt kan ek Nederland verstaan. Ek kan met jou praat. En Afrikaans, en jy behoort te verstaan precies wat ek vir jou sê, as ek Afrikaans praat. Maar ja, ek kan nie, ek kan nie alles verstaan wat jylle sê nie. Um, any speculation on what lore might be released to BlizzCon? Tenacious J, we, we spoke about that last night to some extent. So that was last night's topic. Uh, that will be up on YouTube probably within the next... Um, within the next... Uh, you need to ask Alex. Alex, when will that be up? Uh, but I'm thinking next week uh, that'll be up. Uh, the BlizzCon discussion. Um, as for the lore that we might be getting in 9.1, uh, that's going to be discussed on Sunday. So that's the, the topic for Sunday night. I did play the main towers, yes. Big demographic crisis here. That feeling when Akko slips into a language without any hesitation. I mean, there is hesitation. I just don't show the hesitation. But there is hesitation. Although I, I seem to be fine slipping uh, between Afrikaans and English nowadays. Um, it seems to be m easier uh, than it used to be. But I do, I, I think in English when I speak English, and I think in Afrikaans when I speak Afrikaans. Uh, funnily enough, I dream in English. I don't know why. I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to dream in Afrikaans, but I do dream in English. Um, we'll have it edited. Uh, I will have it edited done by tomorrow. It's a huge video, so take some time. I know, Alex. I dream in Old God. I have a YouTube play while I drive to work, and when I pass out at night, I low-key am addicted to your content. Tenacious J, thank you very much. Really fucking appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Um, I'm so glad when I hear people really enjoying the content, because it's just supposed to be... Um, it's just supposed to be fun. So I'm glad that people enjoy it, and they enjoy the escape that it offers. Imagine dreaming. We're ignoring that. Ignoring what, Luna? Examples of Cornish... Brogoth Agan Tasso Dufledges Athkar Man, that, that almost sounds fucking a little bit old god. The luck instead of the lull. Well, I knew what you were trying to do, so I just I just went with it. I don't blame people for making spelling mistakes in Twitch chat. <laughs> that sounds a little bit old godish. 100% you go live when I head to work. Love it. Meaning old land of our fathers. Your children love you. Oh. I just recently started Danmo. I'm glad that I can be your company uh, going to work. But I, I'm, I'm... I recently started watching The 100. Has anyone watched The 100 yet? Well, let's thank you for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I recently just started watching The 100. I'm literally starting with season two now. It's taken about a month for me to get to season two. So it's going slow, shall we say. I'm a little bit triggered as well. They killed off the, the hot chick and they keep the blonde chick around for no fucking reason. Like Raven should have been, I think, the lead of that show. Raven is far hotter than what's the fucking blonde chick called? Also, that other chick, what's the fucking, what's the sister called? The hot chick is in Fear of the Walking Dead. Which hot chick? Raven. Alicia. Wait, is Alicia the sister? The guy's sister, Alicia. Because she is fit as fuck, by the way. She is next level fit. When is Alexa comes into play? I'm going to start watching The Expanse next week. Danmo, thank you so much for seeing what's up. Did really fucking appreciate that. Welcome to the Fat Fuckers Club. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clark is the main, but wait uh, for what Octavia does. Octavia, no. Octavia, I think, is the sister. She is, uh, what's his name? Bellamy's sister. Octavia is stupidly hot, dude. Octavia is stupidly hot. There was a part of me that actually wanted Octavia to uh, end up with uh, the guy with the fucking goggles. Like, so is Alicia from Fear the Walking Dead. Octavia is... Yeah, Octavia is fucking bae. 
Better started with potential. The writing has become complete garbage, and I don't think it ever achieved good status. <laughs> She's good. Uh, <laughs> Octavia is hot as balls, dude. Solo, thank you for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, no, uh, Octavia is, is... Oh my god. Hottest woman on the planet, hands down. Don't disagree. Don't disagree. Kate Bacon Sale is the hottest woman on the planet. Everyone knows that. Was that that fucked up? Not us? He was speaking in tongues? How, how was I speaking in tongues? I was legitimately saying the hot chick. But that raven is still hot. Raven was also very fucking fat. Raven was well hot. And it just pisses me off that she's the one who died and not the other chick, Clark. Octavia is me. I haven't seen Lexa yet, I think. But yeah, uh, like for example, Finn. Finn is torn between Raven and Clark. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? How are you torn between Raven and Clark? Like, really? Really? At some point, you look at the two and you go, hmm, I don't know which one to choose. You choose Raven, you motherfucker, every single time. Uh, like last season, Bellamy can just not exist. Don't spoil it for me now. Don't spoil it for me now. I'm literally at season two, and I don't want to know what's going to happen in the last season yet. Let me get there. I'll get there slow, but I'll get there. Uh, I only watch like half an episode a day. That's all I have time for. I genuinely can't do 45 second, 45 minute uh, episodes. It's too fucking long. I genuinely don't have the time for that. So I do. I I only watch when I'm eating. So I'll have my I'll have my meal and then I'll watch and then once I'm done eating, I get back to work. There's another show I wanted to watch, but I can't remember what it is. But I actually discovered The 100 because I'm on a new bank now. There's a new type of show that's appealing to me. I want something futuristic now. I don't know why. I just, I need something dystopian future base something. The chat just fucking die or did the stream die? No, stream seems to be fine. And this stream isn't fine, and Chaz just dead. Is there anyone in fucking chat? Is the stream dead? What's going on? It does seem like it fucking died on me. Yeah. All right. So OBS is broken. I'm just reloading it now. Hold up. Yeah. Chat broke entirely. Like I could legit not see anything. I just saw Alex's message there going, uh, don't spoil it. OBS is like, it's not even updating there. No, there. It's not updating there. Stream is fine. Your chat window broke, though. Yeah, there it goes again. There it goes again. You know what the fuck does that mean? All right. So, are we gonna get into? Are we gonna get into some discussions here? Listening at the moment. Working. Who Fanako is back in the future? Yeah, I, I'm I'm finally back. I don't know why it happens every once in a while. We must take a moment of silence to mourn the loss of Akalon. <laughs> Sinistral, how you doing, bro? Wait, the loss of me? Did I die? When did I die? I didn't even know. Okay, uh, hopefully chat isn't completely fucked up because it seems like it's broken again. Glad you could make it, brother. The Raven beckons for you to follow into the darkness in French. Lol, it's my fault. When I came on, the chat died. Adelia, how are you doing? All right, so hopefully, hopefully chat 
remains workable. Man, I need to go back to the barbers. This beard. I need I need the beard to be trimmed. Especially the mustache is starting to annoy the living fuck out of me. Starting to annoy me. Uh, just a tad. But alright, so... We definitely need to do some discussions here, right? We need to look at 9.1... Uh, 9.0.5. Which is why all of you fucking arrived here, right? So let's quickly change. Let's quickly sh change this to World of Warcraft. Since we are discussing World of Warcraft. Right. Every time I type, chat dies. Adelia, no. Chat's working now. I can see you typing now. Yeah, 7, 7 p.m. CET. Saturday. That's when we're discussing uh, the... The website. Jokers New Echo, I arrived here for your charming personality and your suave looks. So I think thank you very much. That I really appreciate that. I wish more people would arrive for that. Then we wouldn't have to plan anything. We could just show up. Points are back. Fuck yes. We are gonna be discussing all of that and more. I wish I lived alone sometimes. I think everyone wishes that at times. Living alone could be could, could be fun, right? But then at the same time, if I lived alone, I'd be lonely as fuck. All right, so chat. Let's discuss it. 9.0.5. This is the first time that this has really fucking happened. Um, I, I the, the fact of the matter is this is... Usually we don't get a 0 0.5 patch. We we're all very 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 accustomed to 0 0.1.5, 0 0.2.5, 0 0.3.5 even in some cases. But a 0 0.5 patch is something that very rarely happens. But I do think that at the end of the day this is actually a very good thing and I also think it makes sense especially in Shadowlands that we get a 9.0.5 patch and that becomes extremely uh clear once you read through this post now i'm gonna read i'm not gonna read through this entire post but i will paraphrase basically what blizzard is saying here um one of the reasons they've not really taken a whole lot of time to do massive updates to the game and and change the covenants and convoke for example most of us should know what that means when i say convoke and just the sheer overpowered silliness of that spell one of the reasons they've not fixed that yet is because uh because of the effort that people put into covenants and how integral covenants is to the overall gameplay of the game blizzard doesn't want to make sweeping changes in the middle of a patch right that will influence which covenant you choose so if you're a boomkin and you chose ardenwield for convoke they don't want midway through the patch to go well sorry we're gonna nerf it now so you're going to have to switch to a new covenant. Instead, they're going to use the 0.5 patches to make these sweeping changes. So we're going to see a crap ton of class changes over the course of the next few weeks. One of the reasons is, of course, it is PTR tested. So Blizzard can get feedback from players on what works, what doesn't work, when is it enough, way too hard, when is enough, you know, not enough. So uh, it makes sense that this is going to happen within a patch. One of the other things that the patch does seem to introduce is a lot of fixes to the original systems that's been introduced. Now, last night when we spoke about BlizzCon and we spoke about where BlizzCon is and, and what I think we're going to get from BlizzCon, I told you that the foundations for the game is really good. Fixing the game from this point forward really isn't going to be at the same level that BFA or even Legion was, where you have massive massive um foundational flaws within the game that you really can't fix in a single expansion so this is why in bfa we saw these systems upon systems because instead of like you you're not able to fix the system so the only way to fix the system is to introduce another system that might uh sort of carry the system that is uh, hinkering and broken so in bfa we had those problems we do not see those problems here instead what we see blizzard do is now introducing more things and there's a bunch of things that we'll be going through here and uh, one of the the first examples of this of course is the return 
of valor points we spoke about this last night so everyone in chat you can fucking rejoice valor points is back and i personally believe this is a good thing i personally think that with valor points making a return to the game it fixes the underlying problems that most people were experiencing within mythic plus right the biggest issue that people had with mythic plus is the lack of gear the lack of reward really for doing mythic plus at the end of the day the the only thing that really made mythic plus worth it was the chest or the vault at the end of the week everything else was just sort of useless you, you wouldn't get enough pieces you wouldn't get enough items you wouldn't get the items that you wanted and uh, you'd have to push really hard to get there now there's a couple of things that you need to know about this valor point system uh, that is different to the valor points that we grew accustomed to in the past the valor points do not extend to raid gear or to raids right so it doesn't extend to raids itself which is actually in my opinion a very good thing the problem with valor points extending to raids and you getting valor points inside raids and being able to upgrade raid gear is that it attributes to bloat you once again end up with this massive uh gear bloat where people are just getting incrementally more powerful and it sort of then serves the same purpose as titan forging and war forging the way the new valor point system is going to work is there is a weekly cap one that is good by the way anyone that's going to start throwing around bullshit like oh my god they're time gaining this just by putting a weekly cap on it no it stops people from having to grind themselves to death because there's no cap and they need to upgrade all of their item pieces within a single week this means that you're, you're going to do your five or six dungeons. You're going to get the valor points that you can get for that week. And most likely, we're going to end up with what we had sort of in Wrath of the Lich King and those expansions. Where a lot of the pieces you could upgrade with a single week's worth. Well, actually, no pieces you could upgrade with a single week's worth. But you could usually upgrade, uh, uh, I believe, your legs and stuff like that. Which was less. It, it would take, like I think it was 1,650 uh, points at the time or emblems at the time that you would need in order to upgrade your pants but then your your weapon for example would be 2400 so for that you you kind of needed two weeks of full grinding uh hitting cap so that you could upgrade a single piece i think that that's sort of where blizzard is going to let it land uh that's sort of where we can look forward to blizzard have already said that the biggest upgrades will still come from the vault uh but what makes this valor system in my opinion actually so amazing which I think is, is something that, that should excite everyone, is the fact that you actually now still have incentive. The Valor Point system does not remove incentive to do the highest possible Mythic Plus. Because the higher the starting level item level, the less Valor you have to spend to get it to the max level. So you're still gonna wanna farm Mythic Plus at very high level to hopefully get, um, you know, to 10 item level that you can then upgrade to 213 or eventually to 220 rather than starting with a 190 item level item and you have to upgrade it multiple times right so four five six times before it will be at max level so there is it doesn't remove the need for you to spam mythic plus and then of course as we already discussed the fact that it's not going to raid i think is an actual good thing chat what is your thoughts on this Let, let's quickly get chat here what, what, where do you guys fall on this happy do you think it's a good change bad change where do you think it is it seems like no one's writing adelia and you guys should be writing this is going into fucking youtube so if you write your comments will be seen on youtube even if i don't respond to them immediately have we separate to valor I can't imagine clearing a raid, doing 10 Mythic Plus, and burning through PvP in a single week every week. I think I'd die. I like it as a key pusher. I would it would frustrate me when I get the gear for working my ass off. When I get no gear for working my ass off. Should have been in 9.0.2, but glad it's here. Uh, but doesn't mean that 9.1 is far off. Uh, GP Turismo, no. It doesn't necessarily mean that uh, 9.1 is far off. Uh, it basically means that 9.1 is probably going to be uh probably going to be three months from march right so whenever 9.0.5 launches you can expect 9.1 to go three months after that 
uh, which is usually three to four months after that, which is usually when Blizzard pushes these things. So, yes, it does mean that 9.1 is about four months away still at this point, maybe even five months, considering we're still in February. But at the end of the day, I think this is good because 9.0.5 still seems to introduce a lot of other things as well to the game, which is rather good. Um, I seem to... Well, most of you in chat seem to enjoy the fact that Valor is going to come back and that you are going to be able to upgrade your Mythic Plus gear using this Valor system uh, so that you can actually get powerful enough. I don't know if this fixes the PvP system, though, because I still think this is going to be... Um, this is maybe going to shoehorn more and more PvP people into Mythic Plus in order to upgrade their gear because a lot of their best items might drop from Mythic Plus, especially when they can finally upgrade it, right? So I think I, I think that 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 is maybe a bad thing. I can lock back then. I think it's a good idea uh, to just allow upgrading for all pieces across the board. The Mythic Pushers would still get it first. But by the end of each patch, everyone with the desire would have some of the base gear to provide a more competitive playing field right before the next patch comes out. Uh, Cinderstill, are you talking about also allowing it for raids? Zemlan, how are you doing? Right, so I should probably put this... Uh, and by the way, when I'm pausing like that, it's just to make it easier for Alex to know where to cut it off, right? So that's why I'm pausing. Uh, before I respond to things so because otherwise Alex goes what the fuck dude you want me to edit one hour of a video with literally no way of knowing when I should cut and when I shouldn't um okay so just very quickly no lore nuggets whatsoever and I didn't expect any lore nuggets to happen either uh, there's not going to be a lot of lore in 9.0.5. That's not what 0.5 patches has ever been about. 0.5 patches has never given us lore. Um, it, it, most of the time, it is system fixes, it's number fixes, it's balancing and stuff like that. We're not going to get a lot of lore. The lore is going to come at BlizzCon 9. That's when we're going to get a shit ton of lore. We're not going to get lore in this one. There might be indications of things that might have impact on the lore later down the road. But for now, we're not going to get a lot of lore. Uh, within patch 9.0.5 all right so i don't think it should be for raids uh cinderstall raids is already the most uh the best gear you can get and it is extremely targeted right in a raid you know exactly which boss drops your item uh you're usually with the same 20 people in there doing the boss every single week at some point you will get your item it's just a matter of when with dungeons it's far different right because you have to push at the highest possible key. You have to hope that that boss, out of all of the items that it could drop, will drop something for you. Because the, the bosses usually have multiple items for your class, right? But then they also have multiple items for every other class in the game. So it could be that you never get an item. And it could take months for you to get the item that you actually need. And if you get no item for a single mythic key push, that feels really bad. Whereas I don't think the same problem exists for raiders. And I don't think raiders... Uh, the problem with raiding, and here's why I would never want that for raiding, because remember the Valapoid system actually also goes hand in hand with achievements. So there is a cap to how high you can upgrade your gear based on the, the, the minimum amount of item or keys that you've pushed. So you, you get the first upgradable gear at uh, the achievement where you push every single key plus five. The next one is plus 10, and the, the, the one for the maximum upgrade, that happens at plus 15. So you have to push every single key at plus 15 in order to be allowed to upgrade your gear to the max level. So there is still a level of entry. When it comes to raiding, mythic gear should be the highest. Someone who does normal dungeons or raids should not have mythic level gear, ever. Mythic gear must be the highest gear in the game. So, uh, an, uh, an heroic raider can never be allowed to upgrade to mythic raiding gear. I just genuinely do not believe that you... I, I'd actually... GP, you're right. I never think about PvP in this sense. But yes, mythic raiding and 2,400 plus uh, PvP gear, that should be the highest in the game. Those people should be rewarded for the effort that they put into it because it's not easy to raid or PvP at that level. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and they should be rewarded for that. So I, I, I will... If you wanted to put a Valor system in that allows you to get six extra item levels, that would be one thing. But putting in a, a, an upgradable system, I just don't agree with that. Um, 
everyone can have their own ideas and that's fine i just uh, do not believe that it should ever we should ever interfere with the highest possible people um yeah but you're already getting your upgrades punky so you don't have to worry about that your your upgrades is already happening you're already going to be able to upgrade your gear um but at the end of the day getting five people together to push plus 20 keys isn't nearly as bad as getting 20 people together to do a mythic raid every single week three or four days a week right so the effort involved the negotiations involved shall we say for a mythic raiding guild is far more than the negotiations involved with you and your four friends so there's literally i don't care how high you push the mythic plus key there is no comparison between who does the most in order to get there i can respect that definitely agree that it's uh, way more healthy for mythic plus and i'm happy they're adding it uh, for that at all i think the mythic plus guys really needed something right i really do think that the mythic plus guys needed something i think that they deserved to get at least some incentive to do more mythic plus because a lot of people have been sort of complaining that mythic plus feels useless because you can get better gear while pvping you can get better gear while raiding why the fuck are you doing mythic plus so i like the fact that mythic plus is now being rewarded and i like the fact that it's only for mythic plus um so why restrict mythic raid gear what do you mean mike restrict and how have to do 5 10 15s again after the release um to unlock it or if you've done them already uh will it already be unlocked uh in my theory from it is my understanding that it will be retroactively but it, i mean i could be wrong right it is but it is my understanding that it could be retroactively as soon as you have the achievement if you've done plus 15 the uh, the achievement should unlock for you that's how most achievements usually work anyways um think about when an achievement is bugged or the achievement just doesn't trigger if you've killed it the achievement will trigger as soon as they fix that um now it could be that you still have to do it right uh because it is going to be probably be tied to season punky has a point there every season is going to have its own um achievements that you'll have to do so you will have to do it every single season which again makes sense every season is a new season a new start you can't say well i did it in the patch one I should be able to always get it right um i think they said in the post that it's difficult to change raid loot mid tier but it will most almost for sure be different next year uh scrutinous no well they didn't actually say it in the in the from what i've read they didn't speak about the rating at all in the post um maybe i could have forgotten but from what i remember they didn't speak about it. i'm not going to go through the whole post again uh but you guys can just maybe quote it if you find it uh, I don't want it for raids. I don't want this system for raids. By not rewarding Mythic Raid gear to Mythic Raiders, raiding is essentially the end game, so I'm not following why Mythic gear shouldn't be given for raiding. What do you mean? Mythic raiding... Battlenet, I don't think you're following any of the argument that I'm making. Mythic Raid gear should be awarded to Mythic Raiders. What are you saying when you say that rating is essentially the end game? So I'm not following. Are you saying that a normal raider should be allowed to get mythic raiding gear because they are still raiding and raiding is the end game? Is that what you're saying? Just as I note, apparently there is a book uh, with translations for the runes and it's readable, but no one has attained it yet. Mike, how could you make that argument? That's like saying my toddler runs the 100 meter dash. So clearly he should also be given a, a golden Olympic medal because he runs the 100 meter dash. You're talking about different levels here. The Olympic 100 meter dash guys is considerably better and better athletes than your toddler of five years old right you're basically saying the <laughs> the retards that can do normal right should be rewarded the same as the high level guys to do mythic and i'm not calling everyone that does normal retards i don't even do normal so i don't know what that would make me right i would be worse than the retards out there because i don't even do normal raids 
And I don't expect to get Mythic Gear for that because I don't need Mythic Gear for that. Raiding isn't the end game. Mythic raiding is the end game. Raiding normal and heroic is completely useless. As a raid tier, I have made the argument in the past that it should be removed from the game. Normal and heroic challenges no one. It, it, it literally isn't a challenge. It's the easiest raid you can fucking do. Right? Uh, it's only changed now with Sayed and Athreus and with Castle Nathria, where Heroic was actually overtuned. But normally, um, back when my guild was raiding, we smashed through Normal and Heroic on one night. Literally, one night, Normal Heroic done, good game, let's get on to Mythic. It took us one fucking raid night, three hours, boom, done. Never going to worry about Normal and Heroic again. So, there, there's, there's legitimately no reason to reward Normal and Heroic raiders with Mythic gear. Is doing mythic raids then they should get mythic gear i'm not saying normal difficulty should get mythic gear but that's what i asked you mike and then you said yes i asked you if you think normal raiders should get mythic gear and you said yes but no i'm i agree with you if you're saying that mythic raiders should get mythic gear i agree with you but then why are you arguing i don't know what you're arguing about is the first raid that actually felt like a real raid since dbc in my opinion they do get mythic gear. I don't go, but I completely missed the question. Okay, okay, so I don't know what the fuck is going on now. Mythic Raiders should get normal gear. No, okay, so I think Mike Mike missed the the point that I was making, um, which is fine, right? <laughs> you definitely did roll a nat one on that perception check, uh, Mike. That was definitely a nat one on perception. Uh, which ended up confusing the living fuck out of you. <laughs> no, I think Mike is on the same page as us. I don't want raids to have... Um, I don't want raids to have Valor gear because I don't think you should be allowed to upgrade raiding gear. When you do normal, you should get normal gear. When you get heroic, when you do heroic, you should get heroic gear. And when you do mythic, you should get mythic gear. That's how it should be, right? Chop it off to my brain, derping. Just a nat one roll. It's all right, Mike. It is, it is completely all right. <laughs> all right, so the Valor Point system. Is there any questions that people have about the Valor Point system before we move on to the rest? Okay, so I guess we, we can actually talk about this just a little bit. I do not think the amount of gear that drops in raids right now is a problem. I think it's a problem to people that have grown accustomed to being showered with loot. Which I do not agree with. I've never liked the fact that you play the game, you hit the loot pinata, and loot falls out. Loot should feel rare, and it should be fun to upgrade. When you get an item, you should get that moment of, finally, yes, I have my item. Fuck yeah. Now I'm done. I have all the items I needed. I am at max level. I I'm at max gear great stuff for me uh the problem that you will almost always run into so here's the thing that a lot of people don't seem to keep in mind in the past in order to to because blizzard made a mistake right blizzard started to give people more gear per raid more gear per boss more available gear in general the problem they that they ran into is that people very quickly geared themselves and then felt bored because now you're fully geared. Why am I still doing all the content? I have all the gear I need. So Blizzard introduced two new systems to the game. Titan forging and wall forging. Uh, first it was uh, in Pandaria. It was called something else. I can't remember what it was called. And then it became uh, just wall forging. Which was plus six item levels. And then eventually it became Titan forging and wall forging. Which would just give crazy amounts of item level upgrades. The reason for that was now they could shower you with loot. And you would never know... You would literally never know um, what item you're going to get. Are you going to get the max upgraded item? Or are you going to get the lowest item possible? And you're, you're just sort of fluctuating and keep running the same content until you get lucky on that roll. There were inherent problems with that and it made gear feel really useless. So this makes gear feel good. And I think if people stick around, if you play all of Shadowlands, you're going to get used to the limited amount of gear that drops. And you're going to find that you're more excited when a piece of loot drops. Because loot is actually supposed to be something fun that you get, right? It's supposed to be fun. Vendors, how you doing, bro? 
So, Thunderforge, that's exactly what it's called. Rhino Stain will go into uh, the new article right now um, in a second. But it is supposed to be fun. And I think most people can agree right now when you do get an upgrade in Shadowlands, you are actually excited for that upgrade because you don't see them as often. It's not as if upgrades just fall off of every single Mythic run, right? It, it takes time. And when you do see that item upgrade, it is fun to have it. Uh, so, yeah, personally, I think it's a good thing. Uh, all in all, I think it's a good thing. Then, of course, I don't blame Mike for being confused at this point. Why, Alex? Morning, brother. How's it hanging today? Dragon Wolf, how you doing, bro? I'm Zabota. Thank you for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now, in a second. All right. When did I say that? What was I saying when I said that? Anyways, um, so the next thing we have to talk about is Covenant and Legendary Tuning. And I expect the only thing I need to say about this is prepare your assholes. Blizzard is coming in hard and fast. If you want to be prepared, you best apply the lube now. Because it is coming. Those Convoke Boomkins. You guys have been running around big deck thinking you're the best PvPers in the world because you can one-shot people. It's coming and it's coming fast. You're gonna get fucking wrecked. That nerf hammer is gonna hit you like a train. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking glorious. It's gonna be glorious to see the nerf bat coming down on a bunch of classes. And it's also gonna be a little bit triggering at the same time. Uh, Blizzard have made it very clear that every single patch will bring with it massive changes to both the legendary the class and the covenant systems which i do think is going to be upsetting and a little bit un uh, destabilizing to some extent but i do also think that if blizzard approaches this correctly it could work very well if blizzard approaches this correctly so what i would like to see from the approach uh caps are on thank you for the follow really fucking appreciate that welcome to the channel thank you thank you thank you what I would love to see from this is make your changes in the PTR. And about two weeks before the PTR launches, stop doing changes. Stop making changes. Call it a draw. At that point, whatever you can't keep fixing, you go, fuck it. We can't fix this now. That's that's done. So the people have two weeks to flip Covenant to the better Covenant if they want to flip Covenant. They have two weeks to maybe upgrade or find the next things and then once the patch goes live it, it doesn't feel like oh my god now i have to start doing all of this shit because there were changes that literally was introduced the day before the patch launch that just changed everything around again so if blizzard approaches these massive massive sweeping changes with every uh, with every patch if they approach them um what's the word what's the english word i'm looking for uh when you're thinking about other people and you're uh you're you're sort of being accommodating to other people what's the english word for that mindful is one of them nico but there's another word that i'm looking for considerate if blizzard is considerate in how they approach the 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 ptr right um, I think we are going to end up with a, a better experience than what we could ever ask for, right? Or the, better than most experiences. The one thing that, that I think isn't going to happen, and I, I don't think that's going to happen, I think what Blizzard is going to do, how this is going to look, is we will only know what the base covenant is the day the new PTO, uh, the, the day the new patch goes live. That's when we'll know, right, all the changes is done. Now, you know, now I need to go change my covenant, or I need to change my soul bind, or I need new fucking conduit. Whatever the case might be, it, it does sort of feel as if that's probably if 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 history is anything to go by, that's what we'll get from Blizzard. Uh, does anyone disagree with that? Does anyone think no, no, Blizzard is going to be considerate, and they're gonna they're they're gonna have sort of a a buffer zone, if you will, of say two weeks before the P the patch goes live where they won't make more changes. They'll sort of leave it where it is. If it's not balanced, fuck it. That's next patch's problem. Uh, do you guys think Blizzard would do that? Or do you think Blizzard is just going to go, no, fuck it, day before the new patch launch. Here we go. Massive changes again. 
time, ha uh, hardly RNG. It was casting full moons too much. Casting nothing but regrowth and thrash in arena. No buffer, no loop. Get ready. <laughs> the second. So most of you think no buffer, no loop. We go, we're coming in hard. That's what most of you think. That's how Blizzard is going to do it. They're, they're literally just going to ram it up there and you're going to be fucking screaming your head off going, I'm not ready for this. And Ian is just going to go, nope, let's go, Bobby. <laughs> I'm not down to regret a covenant or current chars. Rip the, uh, the pull cord. Uh, no, but I do think... So here's some good news. Here's some good news for those of you that, that might want to... Um, that might want to hope. I've been thinking a lot about why Blizzard said, why did Ian come out and say they have the ability to pull the ripcord if it's needed? And everyone told them it is needed. You're going to have to pull the ripcord. It's going to cause problems. It didn't cause nearly as much problems as we thought it would, but there there is some bad stories about this, right? There is some bad experiences with this. I think the reason Blizzard didn't want to pull the ripcord is because it will fuck up their plans moving into the future. I see a world in 9.2 where the Covenants start working together, where all of the Covenants blend into a single Covenant, where you collect Soulbinds from every single other Covenant, and if you choose that Soulbind, you also get the abilities from the Covenant that the Soulbind is from. That's what I see 9.2 becoming as part of the story of the Shadowlands. And I think the reason Blizzard didn't want to pull the ripcord is that would have meant that they would have to redesign their entire philosophy around where the where the expansion is going. Does that make sense to people? I'm just, this is a prediction. I'm not saying this is true. I have no inside information on this. It's just based on how, how Blizzard was sort of saying, yeah, we could pull the ripcord, no problem. And then all of a sudden, no, we can't pull the ripcord. We will not pull the, the ripcord. Uh, I sort of think that's because the ripcord was always actually meant to be something later down the line. It wasn't something meant to be right now. Insert Covenant? Well, yeah, probably something like that. I second this question. I hope they do. Need more Void Elf options? Wait, what did Capsaron ask? What was your question, Capsaron? Hold up. Uh, do you think they will announce new customizations for allied races, especially the ones that came in Legion? Um, probably 9.1. You could expect some customization options, although I don't think the ones in Legion would be the ones to get love. Um, it would depend on where the art team is on their on their update schedule. Because the art team sort of works independent of the rest of Blizzard, right? Um, they are constantly working on new upgrades. I can confirm that the art team is constantly working on new character customization options. But they roll them out as they're finished. And it depends on whichever class, uh, whichever race is at that point the one that's finished, right? So they're working on all of them to add more and more customization options. Whether that's going to happen in the Shadowlands, I genuinely don't know. I, I don't think it will, but it might, right? This is Metal, yes. That's things that they might work into it, Chef. That is things that they might work into it. Small changes like that, sure. But I don't think we're going to get any more than that. Does anyone have any extra questions on this, specifically before we move on? The Covenant and Legendary Tuning. Speak now, forever hold your fucking peace. Push by the eye. Alright, so I'm assuming no one. Riddle me this. Covenants break up in the next tier and you almost become a free agent. You choose your covenant when entering dungeon raid PvP content and your rewards loot table was unique options depending on the covenant you contract for. Allow free access to all covenant abilities in world content. Rhino Stain, I doubt that would ever happen. It seems like that would be an overhaul of the system to the point where the system itself would almost become completely... Um, useless, right? It, there would be no way to any options whatsoever. I do, however, believe that we'll get something akin to uh, you. You'll have um, 
it, it will it would kill the story 100 but more importantly we'll probably get something where you can contract different soul binds from different covenants and thereby start you know sort of have access to all of the covenant abilities depending on the soul bind that you have so you can sort of choose this is my soul bind for open world this is my soul for this, this is my soul for that no i don't think there's ever going to be a sylvanas covenant sadly i do not think oh yeah and this is also alex makes a good point there um ian himself stated that as the the expansion progresses the covenants will start working together that's actually how we got to that idea good call there alex i completely forgot about that that's how we got to the to the point where we where we went wait a second if the covenants are going to start working together then maybe that does mean some kind of crossover between the different covenants so i definitely believe that's something that we will see at some point now apparently there's another article from uh wowhead let's quickly see where oh here we go all right should we check this out mix abilities i think we're gonna get mix abilities yes absolutely think we're gonna get mix abilities but okay so let's quickly let's quickly look look here this is launched three uh, three minutes ago right Stygia Crafting, Tower Shade Heart Mount in 9.0.5, the new hidden Soul Forge in Domination Keep. Ooh. That's where these Domination runes come from. If I can fucking find them. Here we go. So the Domination runes goes with the Forge, the Soul Forge and Domination Keep. They, they sort of work together. That is interesting. But what do they mean? What do they mean? Anyways, let's go through this. The first BTR build of Shadowlands patch 9.0.5 is finally upon us and some interesting details have been discovered. One of the discoveries that have been made on the first BTR build is Stygia, Stygia Dowser. Siphon Stygia from Stygia Nexus in the Maw. A new item sold by Venari that allows you to track new Stygia deposits in the Maw. However, there is more to those Stygia deposits than the materials it, it awards you. In this post, we go through our current discoveries regarding the Stygia Dowser and what it is used for. All right. Um, Stygia Dowser and Stygia materials. On Shadowlands 9.0.5 PTR, Venari sells two new items. One of them being the Stygia Dowser for 1500 Stygia. And Stygia Dowsers is an item that stays in your bags and allows you to search for Stygia Nexuses. Stygia Nexuses are small balls of green energy reminiscent of engineering moats from past expansions. I sort of miss those engineering moats. So it's sort of nice to, to have them back. Um, engineering moats from past expansions. Stygia Nexuses are usually in areas that are hard to reach, such as behind hordes of mobs, deep inside caves or in areas only reached via grappling with the animated levitating chain venari upgrade the stygia dowser allows you to track stygia nexus on the minimap and when used nearby nexus it will drain it granting you a small amount of stygia as well as some stygia dust and stygia sliver huh so that's what it looks like the hidden forge and domination keep also, on the Shadowlands 9.0.5 PTR, some observant players have noticed there are more grapple points added on the 9.0.5 PTR. Most of these grapple points lead to areas where Stygia Nexus can be found, but one specific grapple point leads to a very interesting area. The more rare Exus Herald of Domination is hidden in the upper portion of Perdition Hold, in an area only accessible to players that have killed the other three Herald rares in the Maw and created a Domination's Calling. Um, on 9.0.5, a new grapple point was added to Exus's room, allowing you to go to go a floor higher in the area. This grapple point leads to an area containing a soul forge and a soul steel anvil. In the area, there is also a portal, which is a one-way return portal to the rift stone into Vault Cauldron. On live service, this area does not have a grapple point, making it impossible to reach. Sadness. But all right, so there's a forge here. And I think this is where this comes in. Now the question becomes... Chat. Permanent upgrades to us in the Maw? Permanent Torghast upgrades? 
or upgrades that will be used with our legendaries. Flaming Strike, yes. Valor is back. What's the proof, Alex? So most of you think this is legendary upgrades. Legendary upgrades, I think, would make sense. The reason being, the legendary items are sort of fun to get, but then once you have them, they're they're very, um, they're very boring, if that makes sense. Like once you have it, you have it, right? And there's nothing else you can do with it. So it's not really a system that you can continuously build upon and continuously improve. I think having a, a, a rune that you can now add to your legendary item sort of gives you more things to do with it, right? And what if you can add multiple runes? So you can eventually add three or four different runes to your legendary item, thereby really tailor making your legendary item for what you want it to be. So rather than Blizzard giving us the ability to equip multiple items, right so rather than blizzard giving us the ability to have two or three different legendaries they just give you the ability to upgrade your legendary so further tweaking it to how you want it to be i don't think it's going to be weapons weapons we did in legion i think if blizzard were to bring out weapons it would it would really limit weapons have always been a massive upgrade right it's always been crazy uh, when you get a legend, when you get a weapon upgrade, it's always been a lot of fun. Removing weapons uh, and just giving you the ability to craft your own weapon and add runes to it, it's gonna fall flat because it's not gonna have the depth that the Legion system had. The only reason reason it worked in Legion is because of the depth of our weapons in Legion. If, if you don't add those artifacts effectively back to the game, you're probably uh, people are gonna get pissed off not having weapon drops but instead crafting a single weapon and then you're done right like essences but we can actually uh, customize everything my friend kept digging in the files and they are used for making the runes on the rune cover rune cover floor be 3d interesting well we unlock runes here maybe what if it's now that's interesting what alex is saying there if i'm reading it correctly each rune you unlock, you then take to the rune carver, which gives the rune carver the ability to further sort of increase your gear, right? So make your gear even more customized to what you want. Wish they get rid of Mythic Plus. It's only a decent feature for people who are in a tryharding guild to get to a certain level. Uh, Flaming Strike, you'd actually get a lot of people that leave the game if you remove Mythic Plus. I, I know a lot of people play this game, who play this game, and a lot of them only do Mythic Plus. In fact, some of them only raid because it gives them gear for Mythic Plus. I know a ton of people who only raid for the gear for Mythic Plus. They don't give a shit about the raiding. So I actually think you would destroy WoW if you remove Mythic Plus. Um, I think you would have a lot of people would end up not really giving a shit about anything if you remove Mythic Plus from the game. Mythic Plus, uh, I think it should be expanded. I do believe that Mythic Plus can be expanded. I, I think Mythic Plus is a fun feature and it can definitely be made even more fun. But talking about the, 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 the rune system that we have now, I think most of us, except for the people who hope for a, 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 a weapon, which I genuinely do not believe will happen. I think most of us agree this is going to go somewhere towards our legendary items, right? Is there anyone that has any sort of other idea? So an idea that isn't legendary uh, legendary items. The fact that there's a limiting amount or limited amount of runes tells me that it has to be something that you sort of upgrade over time, right? With uh, the rune carver. So this is my my 
my sort of idea on this and what Alex said there as well as his friend was doing the data mining it does appear as if these runes match the the runes in the rune carver's uh in the rune carver's room so every single rune you unlock unlocks a rune in the rune carver's room which maybe gives the rune carver access to more powers it's really the only thing that makes sense there is of course another option that this could be there is another option that this could be which is actually less so we say majestic it could just be a fail safe against people who don't have specific legendary recipes Jaquette, how are you doing? He said rune cover 11 times. Who, Jaquette? Maybe they have gradable buffs while in the mall or Torghast? Runes and questions. Another oh shit system added. Rhino then this is not an oh shit system. This is definitely not an oh shit system. Because the legendary system works perfectly fine, right? The legendary system works perfectly fine. There's no, there's no reason to fix it. This is just adding to the system, which has always been the plan. Blizzard made that clear right from the beginning. The legendary system as it launches will be added to over time it will be expanded over time so this is definitely not an oh shit system my original theory from the start what's your original theory from the start i may have missed that by activating those runes on the floor around the rune cover it will empower him enough to be able to escape his bonds well maybe not escape his bonds but maybe it gives him back some of his memories so more memories this is this is another thing that it could be it just allows him to have more memories, thereby making your weapon more powerful. But for us lore nerds, it actually gives us access to more things that the rune carver know. So getting one step closer to empowering him to finally leave his, uh, break his chains, right? Reminds me of too much of uh, Mechagon crafting table. They even show a possible recipe for more mount it may just uh, help move around the more and craft fun shit like uh, just like mechagon could be like class all upgrades and you pick one of the runes and the yellow uh, rune unlocks your second uh, it's your second legendary further down the line prep for an item level increase it could be prep for an item level increase that's entirely possible scrutinous um it, it could be possible I, I just think at the end of the day um you see this is why i hate covering data mind stuff because we always come up with these extravagant ideas of what it could be right we always look to look to this and go oh my god this is gonna be so amazing and then blizzard comes out with it and it's like oh well it's not the thing we we thought it would be ours would be so cool <laughs> so runes kind of uh things that the jenna needs to unlock like uh, the lit up one being the arbiter going down or something maybe i mean that is possible this is a short comment theory. Visual effects, cake. It's very true. Can you briefly speed read the part about the mount? Just to give you my perspective on why I say that. I did read the... Wait. You mean this? Which part about the mount? Where? In the Stygia crafting... In the Stygia crafting one. There's also an album in the areas into... into interactable and when opened allows access to a special crafting menu called stygia forging within this anvil you you can currently craft two items stygia bar requires 10 stygia dust and 10 stygia sliver armored husk requires one soul forger's tools and 10 stygia bar currently we have not discovered how to obtain the soul forger's to the soul forger's tools but we have crafted a stygia bar and the animation when crafting one is interesting to say the least It really is fucking interesting, okay? Stygia Crafting Tower Shadehound Mount. It is currently unknown what Stygia Crafting will be used for. Our guess for right now is for a new more mount, the Tower Shadehound. Currently, the Tower Shadehound is not in the in-game journal and does not even have an in-game model. But its name and icon suggest that this will be a Shadehound mount. Maybe one that works in the more, similar to the Corridor Creeper and the Morsworn Soul Hunter. 
the tower shade mount uh, shade hound mount is supposedly rewarded for the quest Fer feral shade hound which maintains a ruined armor husk which seems quite similar to the armored husk we are able to craft with Stygia crafting. There are some items that are currently undiscovered, as well as another crafting spell invoking the armored husk rune binding, but currently this entire system seems to lead to a mount that is usable in the moor and accessible to those that have not fully cleared the twisting corridors or people not lucky enough with the shade hound mount. Uh, what do you think Stygia crafting is used for? But it could be multiple things, Rhino Stain. So, of course, uh, we know, we spoke about this last night. We know that the moor is going to be upgraded over time, right? And we know that there's going to be more things added to the moor. I think Stygia Crafting is a wonderful way to actually give us more things to do in the moor. And maybe to upgrade more, right? So these Stygia bars can eventually be used to maybe upgrade the hideout. Um... So, uh, you know, basically giving us access to more sandbox, if you will, right? So, which class is your main? Warlock, caps around. Um, so, it doesn't just have to be one thing. These domination runes could also just be part of what you do in there. So, because all of this is great and fine, right? Making your own mount for the more, that's perfectly fine. Why not? It could be fun. There could be a lot of upgrading potential within this system. But... You do need to give the system the ability to tie into the end game, to tie into the game itself. And that's where I think the Domination Runes comes in. The Domination Runes is going to be another thing that you can craft at this forge, which I think is going to have some implications to player power. Spanning with Mechagon, but less on a quest-by-quest -quest basis and more on a patch-by-patch -patch basis. Well, Rhinos, then they've already said that the more will expand every single patch, right? Every patch, they'll add more things to it. And as we discussed last night, that's another thing. But I, I like the fact that even if we ignore the domination runes, right? Let's, let's ignore them for a second. I think a crafting system within the more, to me, is better than just the quest by quest that we had with Mechagon. Every quest sort of allows the, the zone to upgrade more and become more accessible and uh, you feel as if you can do things easier i like the fact that you get to craft the things that you want to do so maybe you want to craft yourself uh i don't know a fucking flying mount from one side to the other then you can do that right so it basically becomes up to you how you want to upgrade yourself and where you want to move your upgrades towards what you want to do and how you want to do it I sort of like that more. What do you guys think? Yes, no. I'm seeing an actual more. BlizzCon, uh, BlizzCon Online schedule release looks disappointing. Only about an hour of probable probably lore spoilers. Rest is filler. Raymond Fox, uh, where on uh, Wowhead? Quickly look at this. Let's quickly take a look here. So we have the opening ceremony, which is about an hour and 10 minutes, which is good. This is usually where you see all the cinematics, uh, things like that. Then literally right after that, we have um, World of Warcraft, what's next, which is obviously fucking brilliant. Then we have World of Warcraft Deep Dive on the World of Warcraft channel. I mean... This is good. Why do you want more than this? Why do you want more than this? I mean, in an hour, do you have any idea how much shit can be announced in a single fucking hour? I mean... This isn't bad. This isn't a bad schedule at all. I'm I'm very excited for this one right here. The Diablo, what's next? Diablo Deep Dive. Very excited for that. Right? Very, very fucking excited for that. And then on the 21st, what do we have on the 21st? Not really much. Yeah, all right. Nothing really on the 21st. Is it proven that the runes will be used to craft something? No, no. We have no proof of any of this, right? 
So this is literally, it's all data mining, flaming strike, flaming strike. All of this is data mined. So we don't know what this means. It's just icons that they've data mined and they all have the same name, domination runes. But I'm used to like three or four panels of this stuff. Um, I mean, mostly at BlizzCon, at almost every single BlizzCon, we would usually only get an hour of new stuff. I mean, the other panels that you would get would usually be things like, would be things like uh, engineering deep dive, which this time they're not doing. Uh, we would get stuff like the um, uh, voices of World of Warcraft, you know, which really doesn't give us more any information on anything new. It just sort of discusses the, the state of the game right now. So I don't think much has changed in that regard. Ray Tempest, thank you very much for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that. Will you watch it on stream? I'm too lazy to tune into Blizzard. I can't leave my bed. JK, I will be watching it on stream. Yes. Starcraft Immortal, Overwatch Immortal, Euro of the Storms Immortal. Wow, classic Immortal. So that's, what, okay, that, that's as good a prediction as any, I think. Voice of the Afterlife will definitely be good. We would also uh, normally get an art panel. Yeah, we, well again that's not really stuff that i ever watch i mean if you like the art panel stuff you can watch those um it covers everything that i care about right everything that i give a fuck about is here uh it's happening right here right that this is this is this is the stuff that i want to know this is all the shit that i want to know about right here just here and then i'm happy right yeah alex will watch the art shit i couldn't give two fucks about the art in world of warcraft they're gonna be good too. Will the Warcraft cooking workshop? Where do you see what? Oh! Ooh. This could actually be good. How much do you think Mason will be involved? Probably a bit, since he is fucking thrall, right? Blame them though, since COVID and all, not much they can really do with everyone working from home. True. I, I don't expect this to be a, a great show either. I mean, it's going to be fun to watch, but I don't think it's going to be as good as the normal BlizzCons, which we should probably just accept, right? It's not going to be as good as we think it is, because, yeah, COVID, these people are probably going to work uh, either in the studio, one on one, one like, literally alone. Um, so, yeah. It's it's sad. Dev Q&A panel usually has new info as well, like last year, where they said Chronicles was written by Titans. Yeah, but I mean, they can't really do a QA. and I do think much of this, by the way, is going to be pre-recorded. Do you think they're going to do this live? I don't think so. I genuinely don't think this is going to be live. I think much of this is going to be pre-recorded chat. Um, I did see something about a Q&A, but can't remember. I don't actually know. There's a critical role Diablo campaign. Oh, Apocalypse, this must make you happy. And here's the Blizzard Art Studio, for those of you that want to see the Blizzard Art stuff. The Q&A is on the second day. I don't see a Q&A here. Where's, this, where's the Q&A? I am on the second day. I think, uh, Cindersol, thank you for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that, bro. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do think what you need to also understand here, guys, what you need to understand here is we might see a shit ton of interviews during blizzcon line this is why i think much of this is going to be pre-recorded and they're going to host a, a crap ton of interviews with different streamers with different people different magazines so we're going to see we're going to get all of the shall we say all of the q a we wanted we will be getting from the streamers I think that's sort of the, the freedom that they have with this. I do think we're going to get to see it then. I don't... I'm literally on it. Truffle Shuffle, thank you so much for the one's up. Really fucking appreciate that. Welcome to the Fat Fuckers Club. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love your name, by the way, Truffle Shuffle. Might be on the 20th due to time difference. 
my fucking i'm flicking back and forth the whole time bro what key were they talking about i have world of warcraft what's next world of warcraft deep dive and world of warcraft voices of the afterlife oh yeah here we go it is time difference jesus wait when does it start hold up let me just quickly see it's gonna start 1 a.m for me fuck my life dude all right so we'll start watching we'll start the stream at about 11 p.m the previous day so on the friday and then we have 1 a.m i'm gonna be awake till 3 30 a.m probably awake till probably making videos until like 6 or 7 a.m and then go to bed and then i'll be up again the next day at 10 p.m south african time for the world of warcraft q a Yeah, but we're not gonna do D&D uh, &D that night. We're, we're probably not gonna do D&D &D that night. When you can't see next week D&D &D then, or move it to the Thursday. We can move it to the Thursday, maybe. If, if it suits everyone. If everyone can do the Thursday, we can do D&D &D on the Thursday. But if we go to... So, yeah. So, people, you will get your Q&A. Holy shit, Frostbolt. Thank you so much for the five community subs. I really fucking appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We get some love and chat for Frostbolt and the five community subs. Really appreciate that, bro. Thursday is bad for Shamey. All right, so we can always just cancel it. It's not really the end of the world, is it? Looking forward to the opening ceremony where we see cinematics and shit because there's definitely going to be some fucking cin cinematics. There's definitely going to be some cinematics, right? Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. But that's going to be cool as shit. And then we have the community showcase. And then, of course, here we have the end of it all. We'll watch all of this anyways. Sunday. When will Sundays be? That's 12 a.m. So it's going to be Sunday morning for me. This is weird timing, though. The, the time zone is so fucking weird for me, dude. It is so weird for me. Because um, I'm basically... I can't really... Like, I'm gonna sleep here. I'll sleep here. This time will be my sleep time. Because then we'll start again on Sunday, on Saturday. Watching this. Until Sunday morning. So yeah, that's gonna fucking happen. What did he do? Gosh, thank you for Prime Did really fucking appreciate that. 27 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, we'll be watching everything and then we'll obviously be talking about it next week uh, on the show show. We'll be talking about everything we just learned. There's going to be a lot to go through. There's going to be a lot to fucking go through. What description finally loaded? Put my key. Off topic, but your video triggered something for me. The seat at the table image with the arbiter that marked off uh, marked of pillar would be the jailer and the seat of honor to his right was uh, for his brother primus and the left hand seat was for sire yeah trouble shuffle it does appear as if uh, well I, I wouldn't say seat of honor because it does appear as if the the other seat is very much just like the pantheon right so i don't know if it would be seats of honor but him sitting at the head of the table definitely makes sense Uh, Adelia, Among Us, we'll have to wait and see. I genuinely don't know when we're going to play Among Us. Especially with... Look, when it comes to BlizzCon, all bets are off. I'm not playing any other games. I'm watching BlizzCon. So, yeah. I hope you guys can, uh, can accept that. Because BlizzCon is what I live for. I get so excited in BlizzCon season. Um, it is the most fun time for me. So, BlizzCon, absolutely have to watch it. Is always for an honored guest in traditional seating arrangement for dinner tables. True. I mean, the right hand man, uh, the right hand of God, um, the right hand is always considered to be. And there is indications, right? Shazikins, thank you very much for the follow. Really fucking appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There is indications that the Primus and the and the and and the jailer were closer than the others, right? And earlier, if you don't want to do it, then cool. 
I mean, if there's time earlier, but if I'm gonna, if I'm usually, if I'm gonna spend this long on stream, I'll just start the stream. So we probably won't be able to do it earlier either, Adelia, because I'm starting my stream, right? I'm starting my stream at 10 p.m. on the Friday evening over on YouTube, then jumping over to Twitch at 11 p.m., right? So that by 12 a.m., we are on Twitch watching BlizzCon. So I won't be starting the Friday stream the same as I always do at 6 p.m. I'll be starting it only at 10 p.m. So yeah, there's sort of, and we do have a, a we also have a, a charity that wants to work with us on that night. Turn on the left while the cynical would turn on the right. All right, so back to the original discussion before we were so gloriously interrupted by the BlizzCon uh, schedule. What are your thoughts, chat, on Stygia crafting? Alex, I have emailed them. I'm waiting for a reply. But based on what, I, what I've heard, because it is free to watch for everyone, we are allowed to stream it. Based on what I've heard. And on Twitch, we'd most likely do, uh, need to be special events. And then we, we can watch it with everyone but it's based on what i've heard I'll, i will just um I, well last time i didn't have actual contacts working in blizzard right i didn't have actual people working for blizzard that i can contact and say hey am i allowed to stream this and when i'm saying working for blizzard i mean people who work with streamers so it would be enough to get me to do more content it depends what it what it fills in right so this on its own maybe won't be enough to get people to enjoy more content but if this comes with a whole list of other upgrades that you can do and actually make them more your bitch then i think people will actually enjoy it according to what they've emailed me about the charity so they have come back to me about the charity and they've told me you're more than welcome to use a charity we're always happy to support charities so my my uh, Blizzard liaison literally told me yeah the charity is allowed to like, you're allowed to stream for a charity while BlizzCon is on we're always happy to support charities um, and then I asked him so I'm still waiting for that reply but I did ask him thank you very much really appreciate that uh, am I allowed to stream the whole BlizzCon so I'm still waiting for that reply lost interest fast any new content there piques my interest but we'll see if the reward from it is not good enough, I will not be going to the mall except for Torghast. I'm a kitty. How are you doing? Uh, the charity we're going to be working with is called... Um, oh my god, now name. Dreamscape. Excuse me. Yeah, Dreamscape. Fucking me and names, dude. I don't know why I struggle with names so much. But yeah, Dreamscape Foundation. They work with visually impaired uh, people to sort of help them gain access to gaming. Maybe uh, if I have Stygia on yourself, it will allow for the Eye of the Jada to get slower increase. So, well, all of this it remains to be seen. But this is definitely something that I think could work really well, right? Having something like um, having something like an actual forge that you craft stuff for, right? And maybe, yeah, maybe stuff that you craft in the in this forge will allow for the Eye of the Jada to stack slower, which means you can stay in there longer. Uh, all of that I think would be really, really, really cool. Once you're showing the BlizzCon stream, you can just stream normally while everyone else just watches along. The Grey, we can do that as well. That is something that I've done in the past, and I'd be happy to do it again. Because I, I am going to watch it on stream. All right, so the thing that I'm not going to go through... No, we'll start on YouTube. So this is exactly how it's going to work. The, the actual BlizzCon line starts at 12 a.m. my time. So 12 Saturday morning, right? My time. Your time might be during the day already and Friday. I will start my stream on YouTube at 10 p.m. Friday night. That's two hours before BlizzCon Line starts. We'll hang out for an hour, talk about everything that's coming for BlizzCon Line. Then we'll switch over to Twitch. So we'll switch from YouTube to Twitch. And then we'll be watching it on Twitch. We'll get any WoW cinematics. We are going to get... We're definitely getting WoW cinematics. Overshall. Most, absolutely most definitely getting WoW cinematics. 
uh, and I don't think just in-game cinematics. I think we can. Well, we obviously going to get 9.1 reveal cinematic. That is going to is going to happen. But I think we could be looking at one, maybe two CGI cinematics. If you think about it, we've not had any CGI cinematics yet for Shadowlands, except for the very first one that actually showcased the Shadowlands. Outside of that, it's all been in-game cinematics. If you look at the amount of CGI cinematics we got in Legion and in Battle for Azeroth, we're poised for one. We're poised for one. So maybe we get two. Maybe we get two massive CGI cinematics from Blizzard. I I'd be happy with one, but two would be better, right? And my stars need more for Shadowlands. I know they're working on more for Shadowlands. I know for a fact they are working on more for Shadowlands. So I'm not going to be talking about the class changes because I think this is going to change a shit ton. I would rather cover the class changes before we, um, before we get deeper into it, before we even start to cover it. I just want to say fuck you, Blizzard, for nerfing Malefic Rapture. I don't think that deserved a nerf whatsoever. Just by the way, I don't think it, de it deserved a nerf. Um, hold up, let me just see. Will of Warcraft, the Evolution of Thrall. Join Terran, Gregory, Christy Golden, and Sean Copeland from Blizzard's story and franchise development team as they look back on the evolution of the iconic World of Warcraft character, Thrall. We will be watching this. I did see this, Apocalypse. And yes, um, I do think it is an obituary. We will most likely see the death of Thrall. It's the only reason you're doing this. The only reason you're putting out this massive... Um, oh my god, what if Blizzard shows the death of Thrall in a CGI cinematic? What if Blizzard shows the death of Thrall in a CGI cinematic? How fucking iconic would that be? The most, One of the most iconic characters in World of Warcraft. And we see his death. Now, who kills him? Getting shanked by Garrosh. Thrall new Alke confirmed. So, we have it on good authority, the Grey, that Thrall is dying, by the way. I think Thrall will return as a shaman instead of his warrior beers. No. I have it on... Let's say 60% certainty, right? 60% certainty that Thrall will die this expansion. Imagine starting his own company. We're going to be working with, working with Moham. It may also be time to kill Thrall off. Well, they've already switched Thrall's voice. So Maiten is no longer the voice of Thrall. Which is certain Thrall dies. Who's the Lord? Let's just say um, contacts. Let's just say contacts. Um, people whisper and uh, mention things that may or may not be happening. But I do need to say this because it is true, right? It, it is true. Um, Blizzard usually has three or four different storylines lined up. So it could turn out that their idea was to kill him off, but they decided to go a different direction. Um, so it's not set in stone. When I was told about this, it was literally just, that's right now where they think the story is going. He's going to die. Mitten never wanted to come back in permanent setting. I only think he came back to see his character off in a proper way. That makes sense. It does seem like they plan multiple paths before picking one. Yes, Blizzard usually has about four paths lined out. And then... Based on how they want the story in the future to go, they'll pick one of the paths that they have lined out. So, no leaks is ever certain. I was told that that's most likely what's going to happen. That's what they're working on right now. That's what they think the story is going to go to. But it can change. Uh, there's, there's every reason to think that it could change. But even then, if Thrall does die, remember he is mortal. So, him dying in the Shadowlands means that his soul will now be accepted into the Shadowlands to go live out his days in one of the zones in the Shadowlands, most likely one of the zones that we ourselves do not live in, right? So, maybe Thrall dies and he joins his mum in Maldraxxus, but I don't think that will happen because I do think they're retiring Thrall, so to speak. Subject to change until it's officially released. True. Thrall returns to Maldraxxus. Oh my god, that would be awesome. Maldraxxus. I don't know if it's going to go to Maldraxxus, guys. His papa is uh, in his hunting afterlife. I want to have him see his parents. Just kill Sylvanas. No. Video, you take that fucking back. 
You take that back. We're not killing Sylvanas. Although we could kill Sylvanos. Because I don't know who that is. That bitch can go. But Sylvanas needs to stay safe forever. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know who. Uh, we don't know who. Where Thrall dies. But I do think that this. The evolution of Thrall. Might point to him being dead. And Alex I do apologize for you editing this video. It is all over the fucking place. But, okay, so just to bring it back quickly to 9.0.5 and the announcements that we have right now, I will probably have more videos for you guys on 9.0.5 as it progresses right now. Um, there's not much, right? This is still early days. We've got fucking runes that we don't know it ties how to where. We've got a Stygia crafting system, which we don't know if this ties into this or if this is a completely different system we do know that the covenants are receiving major overalls and shit like that but to what extent we don't fucking know uh we know that there's valor system uh, valor points being introduced this is really the only thing we fucking know is that there's valor points being introduced and how the valor point points will work right that's it uh, that, that is legitimately all we know about so I will be back when we know more, right? I had to beat my meat before coming here. Ravy G, happy to have you here, bro. Why are you saying sorry? I'm scared. I literally had my headset off. I go, what the fuck was that image in the community list? What image, Ravy G? Um, so I will have more for you as we get more information. Remember, as always, if you want to see transmogs and you want to see pets and shit, that's Mr. GM. I'm not that guy for you. I'm, I'm never going to be that guy for you, right? Um, yeah, it's just never going to fucking happen. Uh, I'm, I'm the guy that's going to cover anything that has something to do with lore and something to do with the gameplay, but really not pets and fucking transmogs. I, I couldn't care less. My character doesn't even have a transmog. Or if he has, it's not a good one. Um, Savannah's in a back row. Is that the one you're talking about? Savannah's working with Venari, chase moves. Uh, should she ever get betrayed by the Jailer? maybe but i do think that there's something bigger going on there which we'll probably learn more about in 9.1 what will happen when we are trapped in one room with savannah's all doors closed oh probably uh it's something that i can't discuss on twitch if i was trapped with savannah's in a room with all doors closed can't repeat that on uh discord uh on twitch i'd get banned into an emergency something before raid. Take care, chat. Alex, take care of yourself, bro. And a glorious bearded fat fuck. Say cunt a lot. That's Akko. Is <laughs> most uh, 10% uh, DPS boost. That's why my DPS is so low. What will happen when we are trapped in a room? If you want a glorious, I actually fear that Zuval might end up as a pawn too at the end. No. I think Zuval is going to end up dead at the end. Savannah's new Valkyr. Tall lady from Resident Evil 8 confirmed. The more skin you show in, tr in your transmog, the more DPS you get. That, that is known. That is known. You definitely get more gold the more skin you show, right? That is sort of well-known. It's a well-known fact. But okay, so before we continue and sort of start talking about other stuff or whatever you guys want to talk about, can I quickly get final questions about patch 9.0.5? Does anyone have any questions about the patch that they... That they don't understand or maybe that they want to get more information on that we can still talk about you think nico we're gonna get death anduin beat everything once more fuck you wisp I mean, for the scenario, uh, where is that? I didn't see it when I was going through uh, Wowhead. Oh, this is actually something that I did want to quickly cover. Because Ian has got to say, Raid gearing needs help too, but the static nature of raid loot tables complicates mid-tier solutions. We want to get dungeon improvements out ASAP as we continue to discuss the right approach for other gear sources like raiding and world content. We did discuss this. Never mind. We did discuss this. I, I just hope that they don't bring valor to raid gearing. 
It's in the Takes Data Mining channel. Which Takes Data Mining channel? Or is it mainly just going to be systems and balances? Um, how much? No, we'll get no story in 9.0.5. We'll get no story in 9.0.5. If we do get story, it's going to be very superficial, very sort of um, uh, run-of-the-mill kind of stories. We will almost guaranteed not get massive 9.0.5 stories. Now, that doesn't mean that in the data mining, we won't get stories. I was legitimately saying in 9.0.5. Remember, sometimes Blizzard adds things to the game files sort of ahead of time. So it's not for 9.0.5. It's actually meant to go live at 9.1. But it's already in the game files, sort of just lingering there. So we may get some spoilers for 9.1 already with 9.5. Or 9.0.5, right? Let's quickly see here. Preamble. Um, currency, scenario... Taking the Necropolis, inter interrogate the Depth Necromancers to discover the location of Kalthazard. This we've already done. The Nexus Vault, the Breaking and Binding. Battle for the Grove of Awakening. Seize control of Alun. Whoa. Wait, this is. What? Why is Alunath in the Nexus Vault? Are we going to the Nexus? Like, the actual Nexus. And what is Alunath doing right now? All right, this is... Um no, Alunath is the is the the weapon. I believe it's the priest weapon, isn't it? The, didn't priest have it? It's the mage stuff. Is it the mage stuff? Sorry, yeah. I, I remember one of the fucking casters had it. I just couldn't remember one of the ones that I didn't play. Why is Alunath? Why do we need control of Alunath? I mean, we have no other information on this, but it's interesting. Takes anything of the Legion Artifact scenario? Shanikins, no. I don't think so. It could be, but this is usually data mined based on the patch that we're in. It is stage 6 of something. We have stage 1 of something here as well, which could maybe just be that we've already done, right? But I don't remember ever having to take the Necropolis and interrogating adept necromancers to discover the location of Kalthazard. I don't remember ever doing that. This is very interesting. Six stages. The Nexus Vault, Breaking and Binding, Seize Control of Aluneth. Do not despair. Both you and your pet can learn from this. All right. Was most notably wielded for a time by Ogwen. Um, the only female guardian of Terra's Fall. Although stories indicate that uh, that it is far older than she is. Well, according to Spoff, so according to the lore, Aluneth is almost definitely older than she is, right? But is it the staff or, or the arcane elemental within? Yeah, that reminds me of the scenario with Sunstrider to attack Kaltha... Uh, Kaltha... Ka wait, who? Sunstrider to attack Kaltha... Uh, Kalthazard. The Nexus Vault was the name of the scenario to claim Aluneth and Legion, but... See, I didn't play Mage and Legion. Not enough to do any of those scenarios. I literally just... My ma my mage was literally my fucking... Um, my, my mage was quite legitimately my... Uh, um, what's it called? My banking alt. I didn't do jack shit on my mage. It could just be fixing... Um, what, what Raymond Fox said there. Could just be fixing typos. 
So there, there was typos at the time and they, they just sort of went back and they fixed all of that. Um, so it is possible that it could just be fixing things because I don't see how Aluneth fits into the Shadowlands. I mean, it's a source of power, sure, but how does Aluneth in any way, shape or form combine to the Shadowlands? At least we're arguing that Morn staff of some kind, which I, I don't think is the case. It, it was a soul trapped in a weapon, but there's no evidence that that's all you need for a Morn Blade, right? To channel a ley line of some sort. We'll have to wait and see, because this could just be fixing spelling mistakes or maybe updating the, the game file so that it all makes sense. Uh, that's the problem with data mining. You never have any answers until um, until the day it launches. No, the Queen's Blessing, like these two is quite obviously Shadowland stuff, right? Both of these is obviously Shadowland stuff. But it doesn't mean that the Nexus Vault also is a Shadowlands thing. Believe me, we're going to get far more text with scenarios and stuff updated uh, over the course of the next few weeks. There's going to be endless amounts of scenarios being updated with all sorts of shit. I do find it interesting that it's being done with the, the patch 9.0.5 uh, abbreviation to it. Because usually if Blizzard is going to go back and just fix typos, they'll, they'll, they'll make sure that people know that it's... It's for a different patch, right? It's not for this patch. So, there, there is definitely... The Kalthazar thing, I remember... I remember taking the Necropolis. I do not remember having to interrogate Necromancers to discover his location. It could be while we're just misplacing it. Of course it could. There's, there's a bunch of different things it could be. The truth is, we have no idea until it happens, right? We have no idea until it happens. We'd have to wait and see. I mean, it makes sense, right? People love data mining. People love data mining. It always gives us something to hope for. It gives us something to dream about. What is that term? Data mining? I know comprendo. What do you call it? Data mining? What do you call it? Data mining? Shazi Kins, how am I saying it weird? I wouldn't read too much into this right now. I would not read too much into this right now. Just say data mining? No, not going to say data mining either. All right, so quick question, chat. We can we can continue talking about WoW. Don't worry about that. I'm not I'm not against talking about World of Warcraft. I'm not saying it weird. I'm referring to your previous stream where you joked about people reading too far into data mining. All right. Uh Chazikins, yeah. People People tend to get lost on what data mining actually is, right? It's, it happens so often where people will take data mining. That's why constantly throughout this discussion, I kept saying, don't read too much into this, guys. Don't reach too much into this because it could be a million different things, right? Uh, it's data mining. That's the, that's the point. You never know until you know. Let's interrogate the necromancers with uh, Kalthas in the final chapter of the Venthyr campaign. Ah, so that was actually a Vainter campaign thing. Okay. Then maybe it is just updating of spell, spelling mistakes, which is sort of triggering because I would have loved if it was an actual fucking story, right? That would have been far cooler. Far cooler if it was actually an update to the fucking story. Wouldn't you guys have preferred it if it was like new scenarios being added and shit?
Gotta go and prep some D&D, right, boss fight? Catch you all later. All right, Apocalypse. Have fun, man. Thank you very much for hanging out. And thank you so much for modding. Really appreciate it. All right, so who has Valheim? <laughs> Who's got Valheim? Who's ever played Valheim? You don't know what that is. Can't believe you don't know what that is. Can't believe you don't know what it is. It's Valheim, baby. It's fucking Valheim. We will be playing, yes. We will be playing some Valheim. Looking at it all, the schedule this year really looks... Uh, Looks like we're, we are not going to get any big announcements at all. There are no empty spaces for new IPs or new games. Sathix, yeah. I don't think new, new, new things are going to happen at all. I don't think we're going to get new IPs, but it doesn't mean that that's all Blizzard is going to be announcing, right? Katu Gaming, how you doing, bro? So who here knows what this game is about? Does anyone know what this game is about? Lock the guy doing, bro. DC theory about Primus I wrote on lore media category. I will check it out. Lock talk, sure. It's about Akko stealing houses. I did not steal anyone's fucking house. It's actually better than Rust in many ways. It's different. It's very different to Rust because there's an actual story to this game. All right. Here we go. This is the server. Why is Mike nobody? What did Mike do? I didn't steal anyone's house. All right, so we're going to do... Uh, this is our server, by the way, if you ever want to join. It's called Dicks R Us. <laughs> home squatter simulator this game is a lot of fun by the way if you ever want to play something that's really fun last night just before i logged off we got attacked by a fucking god dude we we got attacked by a god it was absolutely crazy yeah like, uh, big ass fucking oh dandelions give me give me give me give me I still don't know what I actually do with that lines, but hail warrior. What up? Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. Ooh. Wait, what? I can make the gods smile upon me. Remember the audience saw it? Yeah, we had the Alt God attack our base last night. I need more leather. I have a bow now, which is obviously good. Wait, I can actually fucking use my bow to shoot deer, can't I? I got some wood. All right, let's quickly let's quickly see her. That boar is fucking mine. What? The, how does that not hit? Okay, that does not fucking hit. What the fuck? Wait, that just one shot him? How did that? How did the knife one shot him? Joinable, you aren't popping up on my friends. It should be joinable. Yes. It should absolutely be joinable. Um, just type in dicks are us and you should be able to see it. I mean, this knife just fucking one shot at the boar, but I do have more leather scraps. Maybe I can make some food soon. No, clothes rather. I don't really need food right now, but I do need clothes. 
Well, this seems right up my alley. This game is super fun. This game is super fucking fun. Can you not join it at all, Ina? All right, let's see if we can. Jesus. All right, never fucking mind. Holy shit. Right, the deer, just look at them. Fucking going for a swim. How did he see me there? How the... What the actual fuck? Clavius, thank you very much. Really appreciate that, dude. Welcome to the channel. All right, I don't know how... The, the arrow drop must be insane here. Am I in the black forest? No, I'm still in the meadows. Never mind, it's still good. Let's just recuperate some and then we'll go hunting again. Calm down, dear. I just want to kill you. The fuck? I hate this game. How do you hunt deer? Like, how high must my stealth be to actually hunt these fuckers? Oh, my guy's tired again. Set it up as a joinable game. It, it is. I mean, it, it's literally the same as it was yesterday, you know. It's legit the, the exact same as it was yesterday. I didn't change anything. Hold up. I'll, I'll check now. the viking party boys why is it not showing up on the fucking obs there we go all right so we go back in here start but i don't want to create a new one do i have to restart it every single time this makes no sense hold up okay password no we've already started a server <clears throat> we already started a server if i start a new server i lose all the uh, the progress we already have on that server all right so we're gonna do simps four sylvanas both s's is capitalized so simps capitalized sylvanas capitalized start the game If you switch server, I don't think you do. No, I, I only have the one computer, sadly. I only have the one computer. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, for fuck's sake, of course. Oh, fucking course. What a bitch. Just hit the fucking thing. Jesus. Never mind. Stamina is done. Man, my guy is so unfit. All right. All right, so you guys can see it now, right? 20 USD, you can get a dedicated server? Really? Where? On the game itself or? 
because we have a dedicated server for Rust. We have a dedicated server for Rust. Okay, so where would we set up the dedicated server? Tell me how to do that and I'll do it right now. Are some hosting companies doing it? Enoch, I think uh, doesn't that one that you that you use currently also have uh, the one that we use currently for Rust? Doesn't they don't they also have this game? Yeah, I sort of don't remember seeing it there either, but I didn't really look at the games. I mean, we are in right now. If people really want to play this game, I'd be happy to I'd be happy to set up a dedicated server for it. Because we already have a dedicated Rust server. Nodecroft has it. Okay, this thing's gonna fall right on my fucking head. Guaranteed. Gonna I right, never mind. The aiming doesn't really work the way that you would think it would work. How long before this fucking log? Don't roll on me! Jesus, that one was... That really did almost give me a look at the blood. Dream magically fell uphill. Um, well, it's better that it fell uphill because if it falls on you, it can fucking kill you. Like, it can legit kill you. You can die because of these trees. Whoa, what's here? Oh yeah, this is where I have to put the, the trophy. How do I... Oh. Okay, so I have to put, let's put the trophy in there and then nothing happens. How did, hello, or maybe I have to do it there. Where do I need to put the trophy? <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Okay, so who here wants to have a dedicated server set up? This is the starting zone. Okay, so this is where we started. If we go... What's up here? Unexplored wilderness. I don't want to do more of that. I can link you the company I'm using for dedicated server. Travel Shuffle, DM me on, uh, well, you could link it here, but DMing me on Discord is almost always better. Because then I can actually see it afterwards. I'm probably not gonna, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Quiet. We're hunting. That, uh, the fucking drop. The drop is absolutely disgusting. Like, seriously, did you guys see that fucking drop? The guy isn't even that far away and then suddenly just... Nope. I thought I saw a boar. Did he run away? Ah. How fucking high must I aim? I I'm genuinely not sure how high must I aim. Like, it seems like you have to aim f fucking high to hit. There we go. Was that not a hit? I'm pretty sure it was a fucking hit. The fuck off me. Thank you. What the? Come on. 
Thank you. You basically have to stand in their assholes to actually get the bow to hit. Which is a little bit weird. But anyways, who the fuck? Who gives a shit? Just played with turn around bright eyes. Just played spooky witchcraft. Why? The fact that you guys call Pepsi Zero Sugar or Pepsi Max Pepsi Zero Sugar is weird to me. I want to hit that fucking doll. Gain didn't hit. Jesus, how high must I aim? Wait, did I hit it? Fuck you! You were saying, Apocalypse? What were you saying about me learning how to bow? I got this, bro. We hunters now? Did you guys see that? Just fucking shot it as it's running away from me. But I do wonder... Do you think you get better at the bow the more you shoot it? Like the arrow drop gets less. Because this arrow drop is completely fucking disgusting. Mods here is the link. I can't figure out how to link to Aklan. Streamline servers, hold up. Let's check this out. Who would play if we bought a dedicated server? Is there Who would play on a dedicated server? Better with better bows. Okay. Hmm. Look at how they... Just look at this, please. Look at how they don't have a single fucking server in South Africa. But it's time to try and set one up. Uh, it's a bit of a process and it is base handled off stream. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm just looking at this now. I'm not going to do it right away. Just interesting to me that we have a lot of servers in different locations, except of course for South Africa. You guys can go fuck yourself. If you live in South Africa, please uh, see yourselves out. Fuck me, man. Why? Why? Why are you being bitches about this? Can I not get my arrow back? Give me my arrow back. All right. I'm not entirely sure if I should go over. Wait. I still don't know what these dandelions fucking do. Maybe you give it as gifts to the gods or some shit. I don't know. Get some flint. I need f clothes. Hold up. How do I make clothes? I need to go to the workbench in order to make pants. Sucks for us. Yeah, South Africa really... Oh, shit. Come here, you piece of crap. All right, I've just attacked the whole world, by the way. But that's a lot of food right there. It's a lot of food. All right, what am I doing now, chat? What, what are we doing? What are we going to aim to do? We need to make pants so we can actually, I don't know, not run around naked. And then once we have pants, I think we should start venturing into the Black Forest. Because I, I sort of think that's where the adventure lies for this game. Going into the Black Forest. Find anyone in South Africa? Drop shuffle. No, I was actually joking. Like, I will definitely not... Wait, you're taming and breeding boars. How the f... There are too many things in this game I do not understand. Close my door. Get the hell out of my house. Right. Pants. Rag pants. I need pants, yes. Pants seems like a good idea. Now, where are the pants? Antler pickaxe. This tool is hard enough to crack even the most stubborn of rocks. 
Um, which company do we use for Rust? Again? Man, I'm almost out of fucking... I'm almost out of arrows. Wait, we can't really upgrade anything. We do need to quickly just repair everything. I am going to make a... Yeah, I want to make a pickaxe so that I can get more stone. And then I'm going to put most of this shit in my chest. Dandelions go in there. Deer hide goes there. That goes there. Goes there. Fuck me. What's this? This is coal. Coal go there. I need another chest, chat. I need another fucking chest. Mm. Chest? I think my house is too small, actually. I might need a bigger house. Right. Now this can go in here. Maybe I should move. Can you craft things? Does anyone know if you can craft things? Um from your chests or do you need to remove it from the chest in order to craft it this is my dear trophy this trophy is going to be important later down the road wait i definitely have flint somewhere else like fuck do i only have one flint there we go you have to have it in the inventory to craft. All right. Let's cook some stuff. You need support beams as well. Wow. So this game will actually let the house fall on you. If you don't have a fucking support beam. Wait, I can't leave. The food will break. Do we still have space? Yes. Yes. I believe there's only two people in here right now. So anyone can move in. Hey, give me my food. What do you think this is? Minecraft? Bro, I don't know I don't know even anything about Minecraft to be fair. I've only played Minecraft once. Oh, I need to actually fuck, I need wood for my fire. Uh Where did I put my fucking wood? That was a funny ass stream. Got the worst fucking world, Jane. Desert Encircled by Terracotta Biome. I mean, it was still funny as shit. I actually killed someone in that stream. Once on a Togas run, I'll be on to reclaim my house. Not your house, my house. Okay, I don't have any more cookable, cookable ingredients. We do have to eat though. So let's have uh, another berry. None of those. Okay, now let's leave. At least we're no longer fucking naked. Oh my god. Who's attacking us now? You have a crafted pickaxe. Black forest is rich in minerals. There you can find copper in the ground and tin lining the ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. Power pick, how you doing, bro? I've been killed by fucking demons, goblins, trolls, swamp creatures, some ancient ocean serpent. You're also alone in your game on my screen. I keep typing the password wrong. The password is literally um, Simp for Sylvanas. The ace on Simp is capital and the ace on Sylvanas is capital. What the? At sidestepping? All right, and the more you do things in this game as well, the, like, you level up every single time you do stuff. 
How can I feel cold? I'm supposed to be completely geared. Oh, look at this little fucker. Right, give me that fucking meat. But I don't actually want meat. I want wood and stone. Right, let's get more. You guys do realize we have to plant trees at some time, at some point, right? Because apparently these trees don't regrow. Like, uh... Yeah, we, we do need to plant trees at some point. Can't do the, the... Can't do the copper just yet. We have to go into the black forest. Well, creatures do seem to respawn. What six, man? What favor do you need? No, there goes my wood. Right, got me, got myself some fucking wood. Easy. Where's this wood? I don't know if this is healthy for me. I'm I'm not supposed to be in the water doing this, by the way. My guy's getting wet and sh as shit. Let's get out of the water. Press M and zoom out. That's the whole map, by the way. You guys see how disgusting this is? It's a little bit disgusting. It is a little bit disgusting. We actually killed two creatures just by cutting down the tree, by the way. We killed two fucking creatures. The tree fell on them. Okay, yeah, my guy's wet and cold. I need to... I don't know if that actually did anything, but okay. What happens if I... Can I use the pickaxe and stones? Just normal stones hanging around. Jesus. Alright, that is some next level fucking powers. What happens if I use it on this? This is the stump. Maybe don't use it on the stump. Let's see if we can find a fucking rock. Just a normal rock. This rock here. Come on, bad boy. You and me. Does actually do damage to the fucking rock. Each world has five bombs, I think. Dig to where? Right. Wait, so how far can you dig down, actually? Jesus, that's a lot of rock. All right, our our building day... No, no, get the pickaxe down. Punch the rock. Are you fucking stupid? Am I hitting this thing or not? Uh, I don't think I'm hitting this thing. Yeah, my guy's fucking tired now. Look at this. How do I get out? Fucking let me out. Yeah, get, get fucked. Get out of my way. Right, I've just made my, uh... I, I've just made this, uh... This mountain disappear? Would you look at that? I just fucking made this mountain disappear bits of it. Let's cut the whole mountain down, fuck it.
Wait, you can build a house inside a cave, can't you? Can you actually go sort of into a cave? Hold up. I need to check this. It does actually break the fucking top. Bastard. Well, this is where I'm gonna build my ships. I'm in Panama Channel in a single day. <laughs> you dug into the ocean. What happens when you dig into the ocean? Does anything crazy happen or not really? I don't know how he got it up on the fucking thingy. Anyways, we have to go back. My guy is not rested at all at the minute. You see, we need to be in here and then we need to rest. Now we sleepy sleep. Go to the coast and use a hoe? What does that do? I'm gonna do it now. Hold up, we'll do it in a second. Nice Alaka, in a couple of weeks playing Valheim. Thor will grace you with power of lightning and give you electricity, unlike your South African government, all hail mighty four. I would actually be happy if that happened. Like, I would legit be fucking happy if that happened. Alright, I do have... I need to find... I need to find more berries. I definitely need to find more berries. Oh, for the love of fuck. Why do you guys keep dropping your tools? Like... You guys do realize you don't have to drop your fucking tools, right? Because I keep picking them up for no good reason. Find the server. Ravy G, uh, it's literally called Dicks Are Us. All right, let's see what we can build, chat. Let's see what we can build. What do we need? What do we need? I want this chopping block workbench. I need flint to build this and we can build a tanning rack we need a shit ton of things for that so maybe we're not going to build that immediately round pole fence and a state wall hmm oh this is going to be easy life by the way this is going to be fucking easy life hold up uh wait Okay. Um I do want the flint. But not I don't need the flint just yet. I do need the stone. Get some stone out here. We'll need more wood. But okay, if we can get the stone pile. I don't know what the stone pile is actually meant to be. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But I think it's gonna be fine. Build a stone pile right there. So if I have this stone pile, what do I do with it? It's just... Wait, is this... Did I just waste 50 of my fucking stone? I don't think it is a chest. We can see if it's a chest in a second. But I don't think it is a chest. It doesn't feel like a fucking chest. I see stone. I break stone. Fucking hardest stone I've ever beaten in my life. You gotta shoot birds to get feathers? I mean, you don't need feathers for arrows. 
I've got arrows and I didn't need feathers for it. Power mining like in RuneScape. Like it's RuneScape. How else am I supposed to do this? There's no other way. You just have to farm, 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 farm. Until you can build all the shit you need. I love the sounds. How much rock did I have did I get from this? Wow. You okay, so you get actually quite a bit of fucking rock from this. Now let's go back to that stone pile and see if the stone pile actually does anything. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where's that birdie? Did he fly away? Oh, get fucking wrecked. I still think this stone pile is literally useless. It does nothing, ladies and gentlemen. It does nothing. Give me my stone back. Doing some piles, hold the hammer and the middle mouse button. No, no, static. I've already done that. I just thought it would do something. I didn't think it would just be, uh, hello? You're in my house? Oi. I, I really need to build something to keep these guys out. It's fucking chased in the middle of nowhere. Why? Your lies. Philadriel the Brave. Wait, am I over encumbered? No, not really. Why is this thing in my house? Give it out of the chests. Wait, does that thing steal the chests? Fuck him, it's my chest. Alright, I need to go find... We need to go... F we need to go ham on some trees. Because I want to build a fence like that one. Got some little trees uh, going up here. Let's see. Where do we find trees? Right here. This is going to fall into the fucking water. Thank you. Oh, Ravy G, I'll check Steam in a second. Give me, Jim, give me two seconds here. I'll jump into Discord in a moment as well. Hold up, let me just get to Steam. Why the fuck is my Steam? There we go. Okay. Um, Ravy G, are we not? Are we not friends on Steam? Lol. Okay, I've got you. All right, I'm jumping into into discord now if anyone wants to join if anyone wants to hang out in discord while i uh, figure out how to fucking uh... i don't know what i want to do though I, I do know i need a i need a fence to keep those little fuckers out because they're really annoying but then at the same time i really think oh my guy is fucking over encumbered dying as shit not being a wanker in 2021. Hey, uh, Christian stream. Don't worry about it, guy. You and me, we're going places. Uh, he's not going places, actually. Wow, if you're over encumbered, you don't actually regain. You don't actually regain your stamina. Wow. All right, fine. Uh, what am I dropping? I'll drop the wood right here. And then we'll quickly go put the stone in the chest. Let's quickly go put the stone in the chest before shit gets real. We're on a pretty heavy meat diet, by the way. Right. Uh, stone. No. No. Get the flint out of my bag. Get the stone out of my bag. Get this. No, the raisin has to be in this one. Raisin goes there. That goes there. Is someone trying to talk? Because I can literally not hear anything. 
Is this better? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, what was the password? Uh, Sims Force of Honors. Capitals, no capitals. Uh, capital A for S Sims. I just Sorry, put it yeah? in Twitch. Okay, let's give it a shot. If you get it, then I'm, I'm just going to feel really stupid. Right, I'm off to mine, uh, well, fucking cut more trees, I suppose. I really wish I could just employ slaves to do all of this shit. I don't know, capture people and just get them to, uh, I don't know, do shit, you know? <laughs> That's why you're the streamer. It doesn't really help. Because everyone else just wants to build their own fucking houses. No, no, let's build my house. Well, if I can get in, then I'm down to build like a town hall or something. Oh, yeah, we build should a build a fucking... Go. We should build a longhouse. Oh, yes, we should do that. I mean, Vikings and all that shit. Okay, and now the password works. Capital S for both Simps and Sylvanas. Yes. Long ago, the Alpha took Odin. Why can't you get in, Pumanki? Anyone remember the game Banished? Yes, I remember the game. I think that's what, what it's game. called. Yeah, yeah, Banished, but Banished wasn't survival, was it? Not really, it was just building a base, sort of. Banished was just the... Uh, Banished was just the... Uh, Building bases, building a town, right? But Banish was a fucking amazing game. Which one am I talking about then? Um... Your mic was cutting out a bit there. Fuck, almost f follow me. Fuck. Banish combat, most of the failure came from people. Uh, excuse me, Grayling, I'm busy. Can you not see me cutting down a fucking tree? It feels like we're getting attacked a lot more now. Cow Titty, thank you for the prime sub. Really fucking appreciate that. And thank you so much for that name. I love that name. <laughs> How you doing, Cow Titty? Stop rolling. Jesus. Oh, okay. I was thinking of Life is Feudal. Oh, I've never played Life is Feudal, but I, I heard it's a good amount of fun it is just a massive time sink like massive but it's a really i had a lot of fun playing that on like semi-serious roleplay servers had factions and shit oh there's a crow all right just spamming your attack button doesn't really work Right. We've basically... You guys realize we fucked up all the trees close to home. There's no more trees close to home. And these half-cut trees... Yeah, you guys we were trying to, to clear it out so you can make a longhouse. You need a lot of wood for a longhouse. I also saw in a review that there's yeah? like... Uh, like fermenting and shit you can actually make potions and shit yes you can make potions and you can make mead okay i'm uh taking up resident uh imker you have to search Whoa. for emptied uh emptied houses to find beehives that have queen bees to make honey that was four seconds away like literally inches away from dropping right on my fucking noggin that would have been so. that would have been death I would have died from that. I've talked to Hoodnig and Mini. Alright, we've got wood now. Let's build a fucking fence to keep these little buggers out. No, actually. I wanted to build something else. Wait. Let's quickly see here. Where's that chopping block thing? What do I need for this? Flint. Let's go get some flint. I don't know what that chopping block thing he does, but we'll do it. Just gonna figure out what to do after the first boss. How do I get uh, meals? Metals. You have to go into the Black Forest for metal. We have to venture into the uh, into the Black Forest at some point. 
Which is going to okay, be dangerous. Um, so to find you guys, I just need to follow the mini map that's already cleared out, I guess. Yes, 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 yes. So how do Can I get started? Go... You can't go down. Okay. Uh... Oh, there's a board. Yeah, that, that thing's going to fuck you up if you don't have a weapon. Uh, I, I punched it to death in three hits. How? How's you guys so strong? My guy got fucking, fucking wrecked by a board. Swole. Swalking, really? Fuck my life. Which one is that Norse god that looks like kind of an owl? Um, I can't remember. Except, wait, you can't see the server? Dicks are us? Capital yeah, I couldn't R? find. I could. Yeah, you probably need capital D, R, and U. Yeah, need to be capital D, capital R, capital U. If the game cares about capitalization. Uh, no, no, it's only capital D and capital uh, R. Okay, that's where. And right now it says you're the only person playing, like you're playing by yourself. But there are other people in the game. Okay. Otherwise, just add me on Steam. I haven't been able to get in. Yeah, I, I had to Steam. go through Steam to add it, to get in as well. Yeah, add me on Steam, guys. Just it's Aqualon on Steam. It's easier, I think. Just add me on Steam and tell me to quickly check Steam and I'll add you. <laughs> Alright, who in chat Quick, plays? Quickly. <laughs> Motherfucker. Bro, bro. As quick as possible. <laughs> okay, that's that, that's more like it. That's how I remember you. <laughs> as quick as possible. I tried to do it quickly. You know what I want? I want a fishing pole. Um, I see something red on the mini-map. Should I go to it? Yes. Yeah, the guy's going to tell you to go to all sorts of places. I think we remove the Steam 1 Apocalypse because... Uh, of that hacker in Rust? Remember the hacker in Rust? We removed it because of that guy. All right, I'm quickly opening Steam here. Check frames. Got two invites. Got Truffle Shuffle and Egg Snaps. How do you craft? Uh, fucking with effort. I, I need more wood to craft. Boomonkey, have, have you added me? Have you added me on Steam? A great link. Yeah, I I I was doing S I M P, not S I M P S. I'm in now. I have no idea what you just said. I'm not sure if you explained, or everyone spawns at the same place, right? Uh, I did simp for Sylvanas, not simps for Sylvanas. Ah, so you're and in that's now. what I've been trying for like this entire time that you've been playing. Yeah. All right, so finally in. Good stuff. I should have used probably an easier password because I don't actually want to keep people out of the There's game. There's someone fighting next to me. That's probably my address. He's building a massive fucking castle. Right. What do I need? I need flint. How much flint do I have? Eight. I need ten at least. Flint is along the coast, so let's just fucking stay along the so coast. So this Grayling was attacking me, and uh, I had to run away because I didn't have wood for a club. And now I have a club, and now it's fleeing from me. Those Graylings can be problematic, by the way. Just be careful of them. Fucking hunting him down, beating his ass. Right, I need more Flint chat. Sims for Master Wild Boy, the Chat King, bro. How would you be a fucking Chad? Kid -kicked. It's more like a small tower. Murderous, you clearly know the game better than the rest of us do, because I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. Uh, what can I eat? Oh, fuck. Uh, I've got some meat for you if you want some. But you basically, the meat that you pick up from the things you just killed, you can eat that. But you have to cook it first. Hello? Maps behind you. Alright, let's see. I need to eat as well now. Fuck it. I don't have any more berries to eat. This is gonna be bad. Okay, rain everywhere. 
But now I think we can, uh, I think we can craft our thing. Yes. What does this do? Need to be placed near appropriate crafting station. The fuck crafting station? Workbench improvement. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, it so levels up a... your workbench and you can do uh, create more stuff. Okay. But maybe I shouldn't have everything. Maybe my workbench shouldn't be in my house. Does uh, anyone have some wood? I've got wood, but I'm first trying to figure out how to fucking make this work. Uh, I don't think my workbench should be in my house anymore. It, but it needs to be under the roof. I need to make my house bigger. Just build a little platform on the side of your house with a little roof over top and have it like attached to the side. I could definitely do that. But I have a different plan now. Before I do any of this shit. Hold up. Let's quickly see. What can I make now? Oh. Uh, why is this rock glowing? What rock is glowing? There's a big ass rock here and it's glowing. Oh, runestone. What? How do Lore I. Added. What, what does it do when you upgrade this? You can upgrade the stone axe. Let's do that. Please don't kill the boars that by my house. Yeah, no, I, I've, they're in the fence, so. <laughs> <laughs> How do you no tame griefing. them? How did you fucking tame them? So, you create a fence uh, with one... <laughs> you bait it in. <laughs> you, you create a fence with one opening, and then you make them follow you into it. And uh, when it follows you in, you just uh, close off the ending point of the fence and you throw in either berries or mushrooms uh, or carrots. So kind of how you would to... actually domesticate something. Just so... capture it and feed it until it becomes nice to you. Exactly. And when you mouse over it, it will tell you what level of uh, tame it is. And once it's 100% tame, you can put two into the same pen. And if you feed them mushrooms, they will mate and create you new boars that you can kill for meat and leather. Always kill the old ones first. I mean, you could do it either way. <laughs> that sounded way too dark. Okay, but this is... I have rain in my fucking rain. house. I mean, it's literally is just it farming. Uh, yeah. Does it... There's it no, like... Here. Animal stats are not a thing here, right? Because I remember a different survival game where you actually had to, could selectively breed. I think I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. I don't even know where you fucking turned that on. Where do you turn on visible to others? In the map. Why can't, why can't I get in? Oh, in the map. I don't, I don't know why you can't come in. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I should be visible to others now. I can find you. Okay, you guys should be <laughs> able to find me now. Boom and Key, have you been able to get in? Yes, yeah. I'm in. I'm going to make some extra beds in my house. If anybody wants to claim one, you're welcome to. Oh, I, I cooked food. Do I need to actually pay attention to it? Yeah, it burns and shit. How do I know when it's done? It, it makes, makes a sound. Noise. It sizzles. It goes... How do I get my item out? Same way you got it in. <laughs> I locked you out. Okay, wait. I need to fix my roof. Um... Yeah, I definitely need to fix my fucking roof. Let's quickly see here. Um, building. Like so. Right now my yeah, roof this is fixed, game... but now the amount of smoke that gets into my house, it's unreal. You have to build a chimney. 
Like I have a fucking Or make a hole in your roof. Then it rains into the house. Yeah, but it's just above where your fire is. No, I want to see what happens if you don't close it. Does it actually you, you die. fuck up your whole house? I don't think it will. I'm still able to breathe. Still being the keyword. We'll see. Maybe I breathe for forever. Right. Enjoy the black lung. Look at my house. Look at all that smoke, guys. Look at that. If I get back, this house is going to be a... F now I was able to get in. Fuck up. Oh, we're being attacked by little pieces of shit. What up? I already had one, but thank you. No problem. <laughs> okay, this spear does no damage. Like, fuck all. Uh, are the mushrooms safe to eat? Yes. Yeah. Can you also cook them? I don't think so. Nope, you I just eat them. Come on, you little grating pan. Uh, I just unlocked a bunch of crafting stuff. I guess I need to be next to a workbench to see those. Or with Come the on. hammer. Okay, if you hold the hammer. Okay, yeah, it makes sense now. Alright. Oh, you killed all the others already? Nice. Loot. And we've got some rocks. Alright, chat. What are we doing next? A safe as long as you don't try to drive in the next six hours. Do you have food? Egg snaps? I, don't, I have meat. I just need berries. I, I should heard something go around. We should actually just go hunt for fucking berries. Oh, you, the boars attack the fence. Wait, yeah, when you run sausage and shit. How do it's you fine, have all though. the shit? It takes forever it's for them to I, I, I repaired it. Look at that. I've got sausage. Gonna stay inside for now. Man, you're quite a bit more advanced than the rest of us already. Oh, I see how you did this with the fireplace. You literally just made it. Yeah. Bronze weapons. Yeah. Bronze. Jesus. Oh, look at Pumanki. Oh. Already busy building her house right here. Yeah. Nice. For some reason, you get the exposed thing over here, right where I'm standing. I'm no longer it's happy nice with my house. Yeah. Everyone else oh. has got nice houses with no grass and fucking ground in them. And I've got a shitty house. You right gotta here. go to level the ground uh, before you put your house. I don't know what I'm doing. Just tell me to build a big old building. Although I, I, I have wanna, enemies now. I want a nice big house as well. Wait, where's the enemies? I'm coming. A uh, house? Um, hold on. This c game kind of feels like you're discovering like Minecraft all over again. Guys, so she's far. being attacked! No, I stupidly went, went into the forest. And I died again. Um, just don't Map go into the forest. That's what I forgot I learned yesterday. And actually, while this storm is going, I need to go feed my goats. Your goats? Yeah, You IRL. have fucking goats? Oh, IRL? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> this is some next level shit going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you can't tell, when you can't tell if it's between IRL or a game, you know you're playing you a good game. Stand still, you right? fuck. <laughs> I'll be right back. Goats IRL, Jesus. I was a little bit fucking uh, confused there. Don't run away. I've got him. So where Echo is is all the way up north, right, from us, or? It's kind of in the center. Well, it's south. South of you too. Come on, you can't. Uh, you're the. He's actually near the boss. If you look the, your map. Oh, yeah, okay, I yeah, I see right him. Right next oh. to the fucking boss. Because I want to be able to spawn the boss insta. That's boss already. No, that's not boss. 
How did both of you just die? Just like that? How am I still alive? All my shit broke yesterday. I haven't figured out how to repair my stuff. Uh, they told me that I need a workbench in a building and so I gotta move my stuff. Can I ask a question about WoW Cosmology Shot? Of course you can, Roger. How much is this game on Steam? I don't know how much it is in the US. Uh, Euros, in South Africa, it's, it's cheap it's as fuck. Like, Euros, it's like 16 something. So it's probably 15 pounds and 20 USD. Yeah, it's like $20. Yeah, it's like $8 for me in South Africa. That's like 120 Rand? Yeah, it's 130 in South Africa. Oh, so close. Yeah. The like cheapest fuck here. That's not even money. Like, you can't even call that money. That's like no money. I, sh I should have just told you to buy it for me and I'll send you a fucking PayPal. <laughs> no, we're not allowed to. I can't gift to anyone oh, wait, in the yeah. EU or or in the UK. What kind of scam is that? <laughs> uh, fucking proper scamaz. I just upgraded my jump again. That's so stupid though. Could that be the body of the purpose? Roger, um, I know which one you're talking about, but I think those figures are far more linked to the portals, like the dark portal and stuff, because those figures show up there as well. So they so, might uh, be some kind of race from within the universe, but what exactly that race might be, I genuinely don't know. Wait, before I can build a new house, I need to figure out where I want to build my new house. I'm definitely not happy with my house. My house is too small. I need a I need a mansion to fit my diva lifestyle. Jesus, you're already building I'm just running around killing shit and well, here you are tear, just fucking I wanna tear this down if he wants to go set up somewhere and just like we clear out an area and we just set up like a town and make a village. Uh, this thing down here is the boss thing? Wait, actually, for me, yours is perfect, I think. Whoa, this thing fucking yeah, up. The thing is, is I mine is not like a few like feet too low for it to actually take up this entire area, but this is actually a good area to take up. This is also kind of dangerous over here. Look, look. Yeah, no, this, a, this place has been dangerous. I think I've died six or seven different times. How come uh, did you do this? Did I do did, what? Did you do this? <laughs> yes, yes, this was me. I was trying to dig to the center of the earth. I got bored though. Don't don't so. dig too deep. <laughs> what happens if you dig? Wait, now I have to fucking do it. Hold up, we're going down. You summon boys. the ball rock. Really? <laughs> of course not. Well, you might fight Suter somewhere. I'm going. You can deep. Go it. Oh, actually, keep going. See how deep you can fucking go. I think that's as deep Ooh, as you can stuff. go. I'm gonna say if need to, I can move my fire, but yeah. you're not gonna tear my down. Can't go any deeper than that. That's as deep as you can fucking go. I can't fucking smack a bird. They keep flying away, even if I sneak. Yeah. Um, why to... are there Birds, lizard things in the water shoot. here? Yeah, they're gonna kill you. Nah, fearless. Wait. Okay, Pumanki, we have to discuss this. We have to. We have to think now. What? If we're gonna build this house, right, as big as we can, it's definitely gonna. Need, okay, sun's finally coming out. Um, it definitely needs to be like twice as wide, in my opinion, um, and then three times as long. But for that, I would have preferred much more solid ground. So I was thinking of a different area. But why? Which would be kind of like over here. What? I mean, it would just take, I think, too long for mathematics and how I gameplay to actually like build a floor up, how someone else did. I think to the, hold on, someone like, okay, so over here next to the coast, someone actually built a house up on like posts. They're yeah. smart. I'm not that smart. So over did that. Like, did. yeah. Like that was an idea that I had, but like whoever did that just like two or three times bigger was my full idea. Yeah, but why can't we do that? I don't have this. I'm not saying we can't. I'm saying I don't have the skill set and I've placed it slightly where it's going to be more difficult. I mean, if you guys want to help but and we do that, but I don't know if this is where you want to do it or if you want to do it somewhere else. 
No, I think this is a good spot. It's right close to the boss. And the Black Forest is just a little bit that way. Like a little bit south, we get to the Black Forest. So this might be a perfect spot. Plus, look at that fucking sunrise. That's what you call a okay. fucking glorious sunrise. So yeah, I, I would say this is a good place. Cask, if people enjoy the game, will definitely set up a, a, a permanent server. Because you do actually get permanent servers in the game. Look at how that guy stands. Okay. Let's quickly see her. I genuinely Beating don't a know how you guys... How do you put the floor up on... I built the floor until it started falling, and then I put a post up, and then I was able to build a little bit more floor. Oh, so you just oh, have to put a... I just knocked some trees down with another tree. You can do that. Yeah. Wait, there is, like, actual physics? That's bog. Yeah, yeah no, I just... Uh, yeah. I took out, like, three or four trees over here. I found a shelter in the woods. Oh, I see what you mean. This is going to be nearly fucking impossible to do. Yeah, um, what I can do is I can knock out the wall that's closest to the fire, it's like three of them, um, and build a floor towards me, like towards where you are right now, and uh, that would work. No, we could also just, uh, I have a different plan. Yeah, Fuck it. Just tear it let's, down and move it real quick. Let's go, leave the house, we're gonna go look for a better spot to build a house. How do you Here's get leather? Oh, hey, there's a deer right here, there's a deer, between, right, um... I've Where? been trying to hunt it down, but it keeps... Uh, it's over running. here. Um, east of you. Um, we've got to go into the clearing. Deer How do you ping things? Difficult. Deer is difficult. I, I, I'm watching it. I'm... You need to sneak, 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 sneak. Yeah, I'm, I'm sneaking up on it, and I'll, 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 I'll uh, scare it towards you guys. It's in the clearing. It's going up uh, towards the sunrise. And I'm turning around for the tree that I knocked down. Gonna beat see, this is... I see it. But it's far. Shooting that thing's gonna take fucking forever. I already hit it once. It should be on, like, a th three-quarters health. It's flying. It's fine okay. for me. Here we go. Oh, and there's a bunch of rock here. You could probably... Yeah, you have a pickaxe. You could probably take care of, like, a rock if you needed that. There's multiple deer. Yeah, no oh, super deer. Can you like dig up berry bushes and move them? Walkie, walkie, walkie. These fucking deer, man. Can you make me a bow? I don't think I have enough. You need a shit ton of things to make bows. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough for the bows. They. Like... Oh, there's meat here. Fuck, what am I gonna lose for the meat? Uh, maybe fuck that thing. Don't carry more. Maybe fuck that thing. I'm gonna trek uh east. Fuck. See where See it where takes it. me. Wait, we need to. Wait. Okay, screw it. Let's quickly look for a place to build a town. We need a good clearing. Giant rat guy, how you doing, bro? Know the fact that he can oh. deconstruct buildings to recover resources. I will deconstruct that building. Once I figure out where I want to build the new one. I'm not going to deconstruct just yet. Oh, yeah. There's a flying deer here. Echo, you see it? Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Right. So. Man, I fucking love the aesthetics of this game. Uh, graphically, it's not that impressive, but everything together just works. It really does. Because, yeah, individually, the characters look Ghost stupid. Of Toshima. Everything just looks stupid, but if you put it all together, it's just fantastic. Look at this motherfucker's house. Yeah, that's just... what I was saying. My boar is his tame. The other one is almost there. And if they, if they're both, whoa. So uh, little... birch trees are harder than the regular trees, noted? Yeah, you can't, you can't chop them down. All right, so Boomanki, have we decided where we're gonna build? The oh no, just wherever you decide. I mean, if you want to do this clearing that was like in the center, um, but also in where is the forest and where we need to go next that you know of in the storyline? It's in multiple I mean, different places. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I think if if you beat the boss and you then go explore it just 
generates it. If you just keep going now, it just keeps generating regular shit. Oh, then I I guess away from the coast a little bit. Ooh, um, I found a nice place. Yet? If you look to the east, oh, I where I'm exploring right now. Shit like that. If you look to the east, uh, left, right, center, where the fuck is east? Right, minimap right is east. You can ping east. on the minimap. What button? You do middle mouse button. Or oh, make yourself visible. I would have no one to play with if I got oh, this game. Yep. Is it fun by yourself? Uh, it is fun by yourself. You I've done. Fun. I could have fun with so this by myself. I, I should check uh, my I house. Definitely. If there was a Someone's dedicated server up. to build a town, that would be fun. It is, yeah, it is. You can play it on your own. It's one to ten people, so you can either play with other people. There's an actual storyline to the game. Uh, Big Irish. There's an actual story to the game. So you can you can play on your own, and I think it would be just as fun. My house is getting fucked, I think. Fuck knows if I'm even going towards my house. I found a decent clearing on my ping, but it's on a slope. Oh, I'm being a slope not that big. You can use the pickaxe and the hoe to uh, even out slopes. I fucking one shot a deer, get it on my level. They definitely changed something with the game because yesterday I was getting like 140 frames per second, now I'm getting like 70. Could just be the, because there's more people and the render distance is uh, doing stuff. There also wasn't the icon over the mob's heads yesterday to tell you when they're alert about you. Yeah. Yeah, so there's definitely been some updates to it. Let's see what's happening in my house. I don't see anything bad with my house. My house seems fine. Yeah, the smoke doesn't do shit to your house, by the way. No, but it does damage you. Really? It doesn't do shit? Like, at the moment, doesn't do shit to me. Oh, my guy wants to rest. Can't sleep at this time. But you're tired, dude. You should be resting. Right. More wood. I don't I'm not even sure if I'm putting everything in the right place here. I'm actually not putting everything in the right place here. Mm. Oh hey Ray, it's on the space that you were talking about. I haven't seen the space yet that you guys were referring to. Well, uh, make yourselves visible to other people, by the way, so I can see where you are on the map. If you click on the map, say, there's right a there. button there. Ooh, okay. I died. Boxes next to the campfire. Oh, we've got some meat, some wood. Excellent. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that, dude. I assume so, because X-Naps just joined with a shit ton of stuff. Someone was playing yesterday, and they said that they could take their stuff and their skills transferred over. Um, uh, skills but I don't think that takes, like, your it. stuff you build. Yeah, anything in your inventory and your skill levels uh, comes over. Right, yeah, so you can basically... Leave the game as much as you, or move to wherever you fucking want. All right, so have we decided where we want to build the, ha uh, um, the house here? Do you, do you guys see my ping on the mini-map? Yeah, I I'm do. on the way. Coming? Yeah, if we clear out the woods here, I think it would be a nice place. Because we're going to have to chop down a lot of wood anyways for the buildings. Coming as soon as the fucking mountain will stop being in my way? Little bay. The mountain, for the love of cunt, bro. It's not that... Fucking Everything steep. in the of you right now, Ray, is just trees. It's kind of flat, but there's a slope closer you get to you. Yeah, no, if you go further to my ping over there. Yeah, yeah. I, I died, so I'm going from spawn over. 
how, how do you p keep dying? Well, what what are you guys I... doing? I, I literally just run around with a club and I one shot everything. I don't know. I Everyone think it's walking behind me. I'm not paying attention. Um, <laughs> it's actually Salvage like six or seven different things. I'm I'm going to my party. I'm going. Uh, someone's here with me. Oh, that's All right. Me, yeah. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm okay. over here right. like Towards... another five feet. Wild Boy, you coming to play with us as well? Oh my god, I'm so far away. This is going to be a trek to move all my shit over. It is. But all right, so we have to have. A I think it's. Full I think it's going to be town. worth it. I mean, it is. It is big enough. We could do an entire town. There's a, one of the rune thingies over here. There's different levels. Um, if you ever play, I don't shit. What was the game? I think it was Skyrim. It's very Skyrim-like with the open field and the levels. Oh, raspberries! Don't mind if I do. Well, I am, I am slowly making my way towards you guys, so be there in a sec, and then we can build a town. But then if we're going to build a town, it needs to be organized as a town. I was thinking, like, start, like, a main, like, inn. Communal hall, and then go yeah, from like, there. Yeah. If like, then we could build, like, a storage here, area. Like, I think it's very nice. Or... Like an armory. I don't think armory, I guess. Somewhere else. Like like a building. We do eventually get a smelter and a kiln, so we will want a type of armory kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is actually probably a really good area. I mean, it's a very nice area that's already started clearing out. But, hold on. I'm looking for like a good, like, huge main starting. But, um, up here is good. Alright, but here is we are going to do... We are going to do uh, longhouse first, right? If you can start a longhouse first, I'm down. Because then, then we can just uh, put a start organization of everything. At my thing. All right. Where did you, where did you want to put it? Uh, okay. Here. So up here where you you and I are right now is very clear. I mean, for the most part. And then right here is yeah. a ledge. And then we have this entire clear area where there's like, you could do, actually do things a little bit farther down. Oh my god, look at the- imagine the view from the longhouse balcony. Yes! This is a good spot. We'll do this spot. But now we have to start clearing out these rocks and shit. Um, you should have gotten like three hard antlers from the boss kill. If you pass them out to other people, we can make other pickaxes and clear out areas. Um... I couldn't pick up anything from that deer, so. Oh, you mean the boss kill that we did earlier yeah. or last night? Yeah. I'm gonna build down by the water, but I'm going for a cigarette real quick. I think. Uh... And there's a little shelter yeah, down here. When you got the head trophy, uh, there should have been like three hard antlers and one. Um, there's arrows yeah, got... and that's in here. I think I put the Royal J. There should still be spot. No, no. I think there's still a lot of spots here. I think there's only like five of us in here. So there's still five spots. Oh, yeah. There's definitely room in this game still. Oh, also, if anybody needs to AFK, just a fun fact. You don't die if you're not eating food. You won't actually starve. Yeah. You just won't gain health. Can still get attacked, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he thinks he'll be fucked by other things, but... <laughs> Do you guys have a little thing set up in which I can AFK real quick? Up on the slope here? Uh, if you want to come up into the clearing, I'm starting near it. Um, I can kind of ish... I can't promise anything, but I can... Uh, no, that's fine. As long as... If, if I die, if no one just joins my stuff, uh, that's good enough. I'm not a prop paladin right now, so... Uh Why is there a neck all the way out here in the clearing? There's no water here. Bugger off. All right. So basically, um, this is going to be a fuck up. 
leveling this ground is perhaps not as easy as I thought it would be. But... Uh, yeah, I, I would say build closer to the north, to the water. Because there is just a lot of woods that we need to clear, but that should be fairly not that laborious compared to flattening this place out. I don't no, have flattening got... ability, but I'll I'll farm all the wood right now. I've got a bit of a place um, flattened. So it's north and over there. Hold up. I'm, so I'm trying to see if we can flatten this out. Like, Hold on. I mean, it'll still be a pretty sunrise over the mountain or whatever. Um, but I want to go see his ping real quick. Because if it's not... If it's not fully flat, we're going to need beams and then it's going to become a fuck up. Does it look like it's Don't kill this neck. I, I need to fucking... Um, my nephew just had a good cousin, nephew, whatever the right term is. Uh, I need to build a fence. How do I build a fence? Because this neck... There's a neck running around here and he's uh, invulnerable. But if you hit him, your skills do go up. <laughs> oh. Wait, I've got fucking clothes to wear. Better clothes to wear, actually. Got a cape as well now. What do you know? Um, I think I like up on the hill a little bit better just because it's of uh, its relevance to the woods. Another the higher ground. Pickaxe. All right, we need to troll liver pants. Am I not already wearing that? I think I'm already wearing troll troll leather tunic. No, I don't. I'm not. All right. Guys, I've got fully kitted out fucking clothing now. All right, flattening, uh, flattening ground is not easy, by the way. It doesn't work as you think it works. I have no idea how it works. But I do have an area. Where do you want to build this? Or have you guys changed your mind now on where you want to build it? Your call, um, but he's done... I mean, you can come look. I think higher ground is better just because you've one already started to. It would be less to clear out to start off with. But there is a slightly. In the end, bigger area down the mountain. So if you do you want easier or more room. See, I've already flattened this area, as you can see. So we could build here, but you would want a bigger, right? You would want a bigger spot. We could start building out this direction a little bit. But wait, and... you have... Here, here, here. Take this. Hold on. Oh, I've got a helm as well. Oh, and there's clothes here as well. I don't know if you have clothes, but... No, they're broken. I haven't figured out how to fix things yet. Workbench, you just click repair, it's free. There's some knives here as well, if you want. Right, okay, so... Trying to see now. I think here is a good spot. I don't know if it's the base spot, though. Flint knife? Wait. Pretty good for the most part. I mean, we can build out farther this direction instead of down the hill for flatter areas in the future. Versus, I think it's a very decent area right here. Oh, level three fucking flint knife. Yes, please. And this is, I think, a level two spear. Yep. Right, let's drop my level one bullshit. It's getting nighttime again. I do think we're maybe... What do you guys think? I, I think we're a little bit too far away uh, from the water, though, in this spot. Don't you guys think we need to be a little bit closer to the water? So we can phase the night. Everyone needs to be asleep for that to happen, and I... Someone told me you can't actually do that with a group. But I'll I'll do my best. I'll, I'll go back to my house. Wherever the fuck my house is. Wow, my house is so far away, dude. Is anyone near it bed? I'll just log off the game real quick. <laughs> 
Um, hold on. I don't want to go all the way back. Fuck it. Honestly, I'm almost willing to just start building off of the um one, one of the buildings over here. Where at the at the water? It, it, no, it was in the woods where you were clearing stuff out, or but where I'm you were sort of... leveling the ground. Okay, wait. Before we continue doing this, we need to figure out. I think we need to be closer to the water. I'm sort of thinking. Can you see where my ping is? I wonder if we shouldn't try and go there. There's a stream there. And what looks to be a clearing. Let's scout it tomorrow. Ravy G, can you see where I'm pinging? Fuck, that I'm might, scouting uh, it out. That might be dark forest area, though, because I ran into gray dwarves over here. You ran into gray... Gray dwarves. They're the like, oh, yeah, grayling yeah, version yeah. of the dark forest. Uh, they're, not that, they're not that badass. I'm running into them now. Oh, fucking boar, of course. What up, bro? Give me a meat. Yeah, I've got a gray, gray dwarf right here in front of me. What up, you little bastard? Yeah, you pretty much kill them with three hits. Not really the end of the world with these bastards. Dizzy, how you doing, bro? Still unplayable for me to play with y'all? Why, Royal J? What makes it unplayable? Because it's EU server? I don't even know if this is an EU server, to be honest. Errors from Twitch. How? Do you know what, what errors are you talking about? I had to turn Twitch off because of the delay in the chat. Oh yeah, that can be annoying as fuck. By the way, I sort of think this the original starting spot would have been great if we just break down everything here and we start over. I mean, we can't. The original, like, spawn place whenever we die? No, no, no. Where we are right now? Like, uh, where I built my house, basically? Uh, like, northeast of that. To just, the top right is the starting area. A thick here, and then the f circle with the four people around it. Or four stones, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be the starting area. Like, whenever you first start a new character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where I am now, can you see me on the map? Yeah. I just think we need to be... We need to be close to the water. Wherever that is, doesn't matter where. But I think if the further we are away from the water, the harder it's going to be. Because I think you can eventually start fishing and shit. Um, I know you can start building boats. Yeah, and, and we're going to need a boat. Because if we're going to go fucking mine in the Black Forest, because we need that for iron and stuff. So if we're going to start mining in the in the Black Forest, we're going to need boats. But then we do need to break basically... Oh my fucking god, burning. I just came across like a dozen fallen down huge trees so we don't have to start cutting things up. Why am I having... Oh my god. So many axes, so many everything. Can you seriously not build bigger chests? I need a bigger chest now. And stack chests on top of each other, but it's a weird way to do it. I need wood. I'm working on it. I've got wood and... Uh... Yeah. 
guy, don't be, don't be like that. Don't tell me you're tired. You can stack chests on top of each other. Man, I wish I could do I that right now. That yeah, if you, uh, if your chests are against a wall, you can build a one by one floor tile right on top of your first chest, and then you can build the second chest on that floor tile. Run, wild boy, run! That was a mistake, don't go down there. Right. I think I have enough fucking chests now to the point where I can actually store some of the shit. At some point, I'm gonna have to figure out which chest goes to what, because I'm now just putting everything in different chests, just so I don't have to carry it around with me. No, run! Just don't come back. Just run. Go for smoke. I'll be back. All right. We need to figure out now. Holy shit. Where did all this wood come from? Look at this caveman. Where's your clothes, sir? You're a barbarian, sir. In silicon to make bigger chests. <laughs> it takes like 15 seconds to register. Well, that sucks. But we'll get a dedicated server at some point. We will get a dedicated server. The birds spawn in your house. Alright, so now I want to go explore. Hold up. I'm going to go fucking check out that area of the map there i want to see if that's a good place to build a base okay i'm gonna work on some wood to start off mcmillan how you doing bro tasty how you doing man what is that game looks a little like old world or new world arkeel this is called valheim whoa Fuck you, Mr. Boar. Give me all your shit. Yeah, you're dear. Oh, this might actually... I may have stumbled onto the best possible place to build a fucking base. On my way. It's literally right next to the water. There's already some kind of lookout tower here. Now tell me that isn't fucking gorgeous, chat. Tell me that isn't gorgeous. Um, you're lying, Adelia. Fucking lies, all lies. Wait, let's see what's on the other side of this because maybe there's a bigger clearing. Oh, there's a mountain on the other side of this. Oh. Let's go swimming. And day eight has begun. I have returned. Welcome back. We've moved. Yeah, we're still okay, looking for, a, for the perfect spot to open into, but I think I may be onto something here. Okay, this, this is kind of nice. Oh, no, actually, it asks for the password again. Look at me fucking punching these things to death. Well, I guess fuck a knife. Hey, little buddy. Won't hurt you, I promise. Right. Guys, I think I found, well, if, if it pans out the way that I hope it pans out, I may have found the place for us to be. 
Back Berlin, how was your day, man? I just got to the last place you were at, and it's very, very good. I'm on my way. Shit, this place is just gonna need a lot of fucking... No! <gasps> oh! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes, people. I have found our home. All the way over there? Bro, you have to come see this. It's fucking majestic. You have to Let's swim across the fucking river and everything to get to this thing. Okay. Let's build a bridge. Yeah, we can build a bridge eventually to travel and shit. But where I am now, this is like the best spot. I do like that it's higher ground so far. Right, I'm just going further inland to see what goes on on the other side. It's higher ground on both sides. Like on all sides, it's literally... Oh, wow. What the fuck am I looking at here? That just looks like open field, but I think it hasn't rendered in yet. Yeah, I think we could build a fucking oh. good home here. Yeah, so when I mean, you find those little shacks and shit in like in the woods, the like decayed buildings. Can you like use your hammer to key. break them down so you get resources? Eat this. Fun. Eat this food here. Grab some of that as well, and here. I gotta stop doing things. You have to eat. Your health is like fucking non-existent. Don, thank you for the sub, dude. Really fucking appreciate that. Nine months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The map uh, for others to see. And yeah. But you see this spot? In Where's everyone? Last place, this is like three or four times more space. But it is a... Like, there's levels to it. I think it'll work fine for like six different buildings up here. Is, is there water adjacent to it? It's yeah. right above a I... river. Thing is, is it's kind of steep. Um, it, uh, but I'm gonna probably build on the, like the outskirts of town because I want to build a long hut with a little dock and a ship, a well, wharf. If you definitely want to. Um, there's this place. Okay, so there's the main water area and then a, a very large clearing that's kind of a little marshy. Uh, and then there's a river and then there's this hill and that's this where we can route. start building the town on top Don't. of that hill. So you're if Viking? you wanted to, there's this ent entire area you, were, you could you were freely do whatever, um, like build a dock and all of that stuff. You're basically working for, while well, you're helping Um, Odin. You could also probably connect the river more so, like make more of a clearing, make it bigger down there. Claim back Valheim. But no, this up here would work very nice for a town. Okay, so if you place a workbench next to one of those little huts you find out in the woods, you can actually just break it down. Get a ton of resources. Easy. But I'm also looking at... If you think about this... Uh, do you think the, the first place that I had would be easier to build? Because it's more flat. No, because the other place, we have more area to expand over here than we do the other place because the other place is, I think, starting too close to the water. And over here, we just have more area. Um, if we try to expand again in the other place, it's kind of like too hilly or too mountainous. It's not even hilly. It's just very mountainous. When you have to fucking deal with a chest in the middle of your screen... Okay, just give me the hammer, yeah. No, don't break that down yet. Oh my god. Is there really? any way to change the UI? Because I don't like how the item pickup message is in the top left. What do you mean? Like, when you pick something up, it's below, like, your hotbar. But I would rather have it somewhere... 
here is some more wood for someone to start working. First, we need to break down all of the shit. How do I break down the beds? Hammer, middle mouse, question mark. Tried it. Uh, yeah, Does the, the want to work. The mouse wheel. That's how you decrap or teleport things. It doesn't want to work. Like it doesn't even highlight. So fuck those beds. All right. Are we gonna? I think. First things first. Let's quickly decide where we're going. Where we want to start doing this. Um, for the longhouse, I would argue over here. Maybe this area here for the longhouse? What do you guys think? Seems to be the most um, flat area. Almost. Yeah. There. Yeah. Um, on this most northern corner. But hold on, what's on the other side of this? Like the, the back side of the long haul should face the mountains. Down here is also another river. Um, and what. We'll, I'm going to just say that's unrendered. I don't think that's an actual clear empty. No, I hill. thought it was an actual clearing, but it really isn't. I don't think so. I, I'm also with you there. Uh, I think it's just not rendering. Ooh. Yeah, there's also building. And this is very steep. Oh, I, I just looked up for the first time. That skybox is nice. It is fucking amazing. Hello, Yggdrasil. Right. Okay, so... I'm just getting rid of some rocks. Um, so how do you get the feathers? Like when the bird flies away, it leaves feathers? No, no, no. You have I to kill the some... bird. Um, I have some feathers if you want. I also have arrows. I don't know what I need them for. I just was wondering because I picked up feathers earlier, but there was no corpse. So I got confused. All right. So I need someone. To start putting, like, pulling this bu bu uh, building down? Wait, that's a beehive. Wait, what? Can you get oh, honey from um, this? I, I found three invincible deer. The one said something about uh, honey and alchemy and stuff. So save the bees. Yeah. Beehives oh. fucking hurt. I'm killing this one. I'm having quite bad lag all right I've, I've destroyed the beehive but I, I don't know if I can go in can I go in oh I've just found honey yes save money with honey wait not sponsored hashtag yeah. not an ad uh, hashtag not a fucking ad honey is not sponsoring me okay where the fuck did you guys go? Like, what's everyone doing? I'm right here. I'm beating up invincible deer, and then it suddenly exploded. A, a, the deer explode? I don't know what this means. Yeah. It, it, no, it, it died. I was hitting it, and it was invincible, and then I smacked it a couple of times, and then it ran away, and then just... Alright, I'm clearing out for the long haul here. For the long house, by the way. Okay, can you take this? Can you take down this hut? If you, you should be able to place the workbench work next to because that's how you were able to tear down the last one. That might yeah. be why you didn't tear down the beds, is because you tore down the workbench. No, I tried to do it with the workbench it's up, and it's not working for me. Can you give it a shot now? Because I'm quite laggy. Why is everyone fucking laggy? There's a workbench right next to it. I'm not. I mean, not yet. I've been good. Right, there's also a lot of rock here, by the way, for anyone that wants rock. Hmm. All right, how big is this longhouse gonna be? Have we decided. Have we decided that? However big, big you want it to be. The map size, the size of the map. 
I want to see if it's going to be for like everyone to use, I guess. It should be decently big. Like Start I, with like a 10 long 5 out. wide, I guess. The fuck it am I hitting? It needs to be... Huh? Oh. It In my opinion, what? it needs to be uh, an odd number wide. So we can have like a big ass fire pit going down the middle. And then like maybe five wide, ten long, and then you can like attach se separate little rooms on the sides with a little hallway, which you'll put the beds and shit in, like the communal beds if anyone needs to sleep. I see what you mean. And then behind the main hall, like the main main hall, you can then put another bigger sleeping quarter for the Jarl. Because that's historically Here. how they were kind of built. Here's a, uh, somewhat for people. Well, I think... Uh, so, if we're going to do that, right? Are we going to put it up on beams? Or just have it level with the ground? What, what do you think? Uh, it depends on how level you can make the floor. I've tried to make the floor as level as humanly possible. I'm having say it, terrible... I think beams might... Might just be better so you don't have to deal with the grass and the dirt coming through. Alright, so we put it on small little wooden poles like this. Fuck, this workbench is legitimately minimizing the amount that we can build, but we'll build a new workbench eventually. Okay, we'll do it <laughs> from, from here. Oh, you tore down I the workbench? literally can't do anything. Oh, it's still there on my screen. <laughs> Ravy G, you bastard! Placed I was about one. to stop building! Here, I placed a new one. Okay, good job. Start building and then I'll put another one down and then I'll remove this one. I can't... Fuck. Right. Yeah, I... Um... Okay, there's I'm one. Any response to inputs? Can someone stop putting the floor up? Give me I'm quickly a rebooting my PC. I don't know how you're that. supposed to put up the floor here. It took me a long moment to figure out how to like get the pieces to connect yesterday, but once I figured it out, it was able to just go down a line. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to share this image real quick. I'm sending it. <laughs> I don't know where to send it. I'll send it in memes. Be careful that we don't Wait, build. Where's... If you if you build it too, if you don't have enough support beams, it will fall apart. Uh, sending it in. Arch You'll be able to pick the pieces up off the ground. It just, it's gonna suck. I'm just sort of trying to put them in a way that it also looks good. Wait, is this even fucking level? No, that that does not work. Yeah, no, this is this is why it took me so long yesterday to start the house. Uh, fuck my life. The, the Never mind. Snapping I'm not gonna even... seems a bit. Uh, the snapping seems a bit inconsistent. Like the, the floor snapping. Yeah, like people's feet are in the ground right now. Maybe give the server a quick restart? No, I don't think it's that. I think it's the actual, like, mechanics. Well, yeah, the I snap couldn't remove any weird. of the... Like, any input I did just did not respond. Oh, I'm Mine watching them build the floor right now. Fine. Mine's working perfect, by the way. Wild Voices says it's good. No, I'm already triggered. Um, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. No, okay, never mind. No. Did I fuck it up? No, we're all going in the right direction. Never mind. Who's on the floor path? Sorry? Oh, were you about to be OCD on the floor path? Yes. If they're all going to run in different directions, that's going to trigger the living fuck out of me. Same. They are already triggering me a little because if you're coming into the house from this side, 
You should be running with the grain of the floor planks, not against the grain of the floor planks. So that is already a Only little bit triggering. Door somewhere special. Right, we've got some kind of ba basis here. No grid snapping. It, it does snap to corners for Axu. About your longhouse, above your river you village. I just found coins. <laughs> you found what? C O I N S. Coins. Oh, yeah, I found some of those yeah. as well. I don't know what they do, though. Cool. There's merchants later in the game that sell items and buy items. Uh, okay. Well, would you fucking look at that? Like, There's merchants in this game. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. What do you guys think? Yeah, well, yes. one more wide. And uh, how many is it long? One, two, three, four, eight. Make it two more long. So it's five oh, by eight. Uh... Yeah. Oh, it's only... I make it... Hold on. Then oh, we can have a big-ass door. Don't put baits there. Yeah, yeah, don't put baits there. It's not baits. You say we'll two put more. The, like the beds, the beds. We will like build a separate like building on the three, side. Three more long, and then it'd be like a yeah. long half. I mean more. Uh, and like... then we can build more quarters at the back of it, like the the the, the, the Earl's place. I'm and then we can also extend it. Like... Correctly. Okay. Can't even... So, you want three more long? It's already one more wide, so we'll do three more long. Just remember uh -oh, to put support uh -oh. beams. Please, uh, the planks. This is going to trigger everyone. They should have been like this, like in the length they of the They should actually have, yes. So are we breaking them down? Yes. It... If Go you ahead, build something, okay. at least commit. All right, so we're... Uh, don't break the... Just don't break the fucking pillars. This pillars is a bitch. Um, we need one more set of support pillars on like here. I'll put them down now. All right, you want like me to do more one more over here? So there's like- Oh, that tree's flying. Um, there's also there's probably oh. like 300 wood on the ground back there, just in the dirt. Uh oh. How do you curse. position them properly on the... Can I get one with pole your here? No, I mean... Echo, can you put a support pole right in between these two? I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. It doesn't need like one right there. No, no, do it so I can place the planks how I want to I want to show you. All right, hold up. In the middle, right? Yeah, right, right in between these two. Uh, I should have been a bit more to the side. Um, which I'll side do you I'll, want I'll... it to? Wait, say, tell me which side. It's close to this one. The one I'm standing up against. So we can have the pillars like flush with... Yeah. Also, if anyone needs any raspberries, there's a bunch uh, of raspberries no. over here. Oh, no. Building but how... Is it the one Get meter pole? Yes. It needs to be touching the floor and not just below it. It has to be touching everything, yes. Are you, why are you breaking gonna, my shit? Hold up, hold up. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Uh, it needs to be forward a bit more. Oh, so that floor is wrong. That floor is going the wrong way. Hold up. I'm trying to make it pretty. Slight overhang. Yes, like that. Also, somewhere in the floor, there needs to be a hole for a... Uh, See what I mean now? Now we just build the floor. With this one, just sort of... I don't know what the fuck this one's like. There, there's Why a slight there overhang. Like, it, it's actually... there. There's no floor there. Not for me, at least. I'm jumping on it. Look at me. Where it's am I standing? I just... How do you repair shit? Where am I standing? I'm standing on a floor bit, a board here. How, how do you repair a hammer? Uh, you need a Workbench. roof over our thing. Yeah, you need a roof over the workbench. 
And then you can just pick repair, repair, repair. It's free. Yeah, just just put a roof up. That's fine. Just like the. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Alright, I'll just put a, uh, a roof over it. Just like this. Can someone fuck this rock off? Okay, there you go. What is Wild Boy doing over there? Station is too exposed. Uh, okay, can you use it now? Can't use it. Fuck. You are wait. Fire. What are you talking about? I'm wait. I just wanna. You can use this one. <laughs> I got enemies down the hill, but I can't make it up because I'm wet and falling. Station is too exposed. Ah. Motherfucker. All right, hold up. Let's just get another. Do we have a cooking thing? Uh, I don't think so. That's not gonna work. Oh, okay, the water now. How do you? Oh, there. Good now. Okay, there you go. Now I get it. Yeah. I zoom up. Um, get it up, guys. And I'm sheltered as well, so okay. Let's do repairs and all that things. Okay, now let's get to building this fucking thing. All right, if we're gonna, like, I still see this motherfucking thing here. Complaint, this is a very far walk if you die. Don't die, Kappa. Oh, if you have a bed, once you have a bed, it's fine. Still see this fucking floor here. Right. There's the pole is sticking out of the floor here. Fuck. Break it down. I mean, the floor will fall if it's too. Like, if it's not supported enough. The poles are like. They snap. Pretty fucking annoying. Now it looks like the floor is actually proper support. Yeah. Oh, more poles sticking through. We do need one spot with a hole to put a fire in place. Why can't we? Wait, do we? Yeah, you can't put a fireplace on top of wood. My fireplace is on top of wood. Really? Yeah. Never let me do yeah. that. We can try it anyways in a bit. Let's just let's just let's just observe. What do we want to do next? Building a cooking station in here. Needs to be longer Re though. I think um, it needs to be then... a little bit longer. I love how chaotic this is. It needs to be a little bit longer. One more, maybe on both sides. Yeah, put one more on both sides. I See, built this a cooking is, fire. This is a fuck up for me. I legit, I can't build here. If, can you guys quickly look on the stream, and then see this wood that's right here? There's a plank, a floor right here. I can't build there. Uh, yeah, reconnect. If no, I log out now, right. it, it logs out all of you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, can you remove, remove it, the then? Team and then place the floor? I, I've tried to remove it. Like, I'm hovering over it, then I'm clicking, and it doesn't remove shit. Oh, then Ooh, I don't know. spooky! Can someone else oh. try and bolt the floor right here? Right in that gap. Thank you. This fucking thing is going to trigger me, but anyways. Um, Alright, now we need a wall. But I'm sort of thinking first half a wall and then You 
Yeah, a half wall and then a wall on top uh, so that it, the next floor will be tall enough. Yeah. We do a half wall and yeah, that should work. Marius Odium, thank you for the follow, dude. Really fucking appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, but I, I also want to do something else now. Fuck it. I've just thought of something new. Uh, Ow. Wait, how big is these stairs? Oh, shit. We missed a golden opportunity. Look at this. What oh, no. Look at that. Got some steps. But I'm not happy with the steps. No, we need to do something else. Hold up. I'll fix this. You guys continue doing your thing. Uh, that support beam is going to bother me. Look on the left corner. Thumb. We can build another support beam there. Just on top of that support beam for the roof. Because I think we are going to need support beams for the roof. Uh, Marius, the left thank you for the front up, dude. Really fucking oh, appreciate that. Welcome to the Fat Fucker Did Club. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry? <laughs> I think Ray just caught on fire. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that happened a few times to me. I, I'm I want to do something here. We need sort of a yeah. We need sort of a a little place where people can they like, first come up to the entrance and then in the entrance, if that makes sense. So something like this almost. Airlock. Three wide. Grand staircase. Um, double um, or trip doors? Double pillar doors? There, pillar there. Pillar there. Yeah, I want to do double doors. I definitely want to do fucking double doors. I mean, what good would this be if it's not... Uh... It's pretty funny, it's not... building a base with friends yeah. and all the friends have varying degrees of OCD. <laughs> yeah, no, we're it's all... It's aesthetics. <laughs> We're all sort of bothered by... Um, okay, now that he brought up OCD, can someone look at what's wrong with the back wall here? Tell me. It's not done yet. No, but look, look no, at the no, bottom. No, but it's wrong. And this then at the top. This is wrong. This should be turned around. Yeah. You want all the beams must be on the inside. The outside must be smooth as a baby's bottom. Actually, the... Oh. This motherfucker is not going to make me build my staircase. I'm just fucking doing this. Closing the bottom off. Not sure if that looks right. Nah. It's not going to look will, perfect because we'll... the way we're doing it, uh, it just doesn't. You wait till like daytime and it's slightly easier to see. But no, like graphics wise, it's not going to be super pretty. It's not gonna be cohesive. Yeah. You have to wait have until you can build. I will have my fucking staircase. I will have my staircase, even if I have to break this the mountain. staircase. But like the door is gonna be a double door is gonna be off centered. So why is it gonna be off center? Uh, don't you have an odd number going across? Do we? We've got five going across, guys. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna no, work. No, you put you. Otherwise, you need oh, a no, you... wide row of fire pit. Exactly. No, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a huge, massive fire pit, and it's gonna be two across. <laughs> oh, okay. Then we're gonna tear it down again. Also, we don't have to tear it down. Just stay on one, one of the walls. Yeah, yeah we need one more floor. Down. One more floor grid, basically. We also don't want the. And somebody's uh, dying. Uh, we don't want the fire pit in the center of the place. Um, it's easier to build a chimney near the edge. You need some food, Bum? Oh, no, I got food. I got food. I've, there's a like, uh, there's probably thirty or six, forty different raspberry bushes in the woods to our east. Okay, okay, I'm gonna gonna so if anyone has that, there's that. All right, so no one's gonna. Wood. I'm I'm gonna tear this down then.
This river actually looks kind of nice. I'm gonna build a dock down the be, hill. Uh, be careful um, on the where you guys are because it's very steep, and you like if your character's wet, you will just slide down. You can't actually walk back up. You can run up uh, <laughs> any of this like hills. Right now we as need long as your floors. As long as you're. As long as you're sprinting. What missing reagent? Fuck, no workbench here. Oh, god damn it. We only need one covered workbench. Just throw a new one down anywhere you need one. Uh, there. Thank you. This whole riverside is way too steep to build on. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you can clear have... the oh, that's what I was doing. But, but am I correct in saying back. this is gonna have to go? Yeah, this has to go. Okay. So we'll have the entrance is gonna be here. Just two. Don't you fucking stop, bro. What, really? Right. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to be happy about this. Starting to be happy about this. Oh, wait, before we can do that. Oh, do we want any okay. windows on the first floor? That I would be nice. Yeah, I think windows would be... Do Can we make windows? You can't really make uh, them. I don't know just, how. So you basically just do it like this. Leave this section here uh, to be a window. Yeah. Like here. Oh, maybe that should be a window as well. Yeah, okay, so we yeah. have a window there, yeah. but then we need a window on the exact opposite side. Yeah, I, I like it. Really I like nice a double place. window on the back. Okay, yeah, this this works. This works. Now, guys, do you have any idea how fucking hard it's going to be to build this roof? Well, we got to build additional floors. Should I start how you doing, bro? Valheim is funny as know. fuck. It's really, really good. Are we going to have, like, double story on here? Or are we going to just... Like, What's going to be on the second story? If you have, like, we have the higher walls on the, f like, the outside, you put a roof on that, and then you build another set of walls or low walls up so it, like, has different tiers to the roof. Yeah. Actually, that'd be fun. And then in the top of like the like the yeah I don't know what's the English word for it? like the front facing wall and the back facing wall at the like the top in the middle above the fire you put windows so you so you like walk in, you can see out the door yeah, one. above the doorway and the back wall. I I've got pillars welcoming our guests, like you always need if you're a Viking. Pillars on the outside. I'm yeah, uh, just exploring and so the, roof, and... the roof needs to be basically the size of the pillars when we're done. So wait, are we doing just one floor or multiple floors? Multiple floors, I think. I think they said. No. What did we? What did we decide? I, I, I don't care. I, this is your town hall. What do you want? I'm not I'm bothered as long as it looks good. I'm going to start building some stairs and I can tear them down if they don't look good. Yeah, um, I think someone had suggested like make the second story one one square each direction in. So if you if you guys want to do that, you guys can yeah, do that. Yeah, but not fr only from the left and the right. So it becomes a 
more directions. Yeah, and then you could maybe have like a walkway going around and then have the middle tiles be open so the fire can still vent the smoke. And just spit, spit, spit balling here. I'm just I, running around trying to look for water. I have my fire outside of my house, not inside my house, so... Actually, what would look cool here is like the old school long, long, long houses where you have Those this are sort just of... one floor, though. No, no, but you have this sort of at the side. It's still just one floor. There's just like this little bit on the side that you have that sort of looks down oh, at the middle. Okay. The middle. What? That. Uh, like Hold a balcony. I'm gonna... Like a balcony. That's what I was. What That's easy with half wall. Oh, I don't have wood. Uh, I dropped some wood in the middle. I'm collecting some more real quick. But yeah, if we had like what you're doing now, you had one floor on each side in the air, right? Going up with stairs. But these stairs should actually be against this wall. It shouldn't be in the middle here. Or do you want to go round? Okay, that could work as well. But now you, you're going to need stairs I'm, on this side. I'm you're sending an image down here. in... Where should I send this? I'm just sending it in general. A uh, Valheim Discord channel. Yeah, there's there's a Valheim oh, Discord okay. channel. Did not see that. How's that for the stairs? Wait, I fucking left. I'm gonna go get some wood, actually. But let's see. Yes. Yes, that's perfect. But then we're gonna need... Fuck, we're gonna get... Yeah, these two basically needs to then be fire pits. We're nowhere close to water. This kind of sucks. We've got the river right near us. Yeah, but I wanted to like build a little dock with a wharf. But we're gonna go. Oh, no, we're gonna no, build head stairs south. down. Head south. head south of our little area, and there's this entire area you can do a dock at. Also, once we start clearing dungeons, you get portals, so we can have more than one town. Okay, I'm coming back. Where? Can someone ping where you meant? I think it was Pum. What, how, Wait, what should I address uh, you with? Uh, Pum sounds poop. weird. No. Um, so where Ray is, it's going to be... Hold on. Wait, there's such a thing as fucking dungeons in this game? Yep. Yes. You go and you kill skeletons. Uh, you have to get that to get the kiln and the uh, smelter so you can get bronze. Um, all, um, they're, they're they're that direct, and you can follow me. I did not know that. Drovel, that yeah, is a fucking car. trick. That is a trick. Yeah. The old town is quite a bit away. Quite a fucking while away. But I'll come now. Okay. Just give me a moment. Let me just we can get some wood. I'm here. I'm dropping wood off at our place. Wood valor points though? Um, I don't know. We'll have to ask them. Excuse me, can I get some uh, Valor points in? Uh, oh, I, th I think I found it. Oh, this place. Valheim? Oh, yeah, this is it. This is it. There's 100 wood right outside the door of the building. Right, I'm going to leave you have stacks of 50. And yeah, right. Exactly where um, Akko was thinking we should be our originally where we were sh we should have been. It's very beautiful down there. You can build like an entire like boating port yep. down I'm there if you actually it. really wanted to. I'm doing it. Clear okay. up um, that ground up and make that like entire water area deeper if you had the building possibility. That's, that's an oak. Yeah, just leave the original village and we'll eventually <laughs> build a portal to here. But oh, no, like from the... there, if you build stairs up, that'd be really cool. We have the original village though, and yeah, you can eventually build portals, so that's gonna be quite fucking helpful. This is where I'm gonna build. I'm coming to the this old is, town. Like, this is a lot better than the other mountain we were working on during day six. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely better. Like, this is definitely less work. But my guy is no longer fucking rested. You need to go back to rest at some point. Oh my god, there's um, a lot of <laughs> To be rested, it just increases your stamina regen.
What am I looking at here? Truffle? Yeah, I'm gonna look now. Just wanna get my resting bonus quickly. I fucking have to go soon. I'm so interested in just keep playing this game and my power's going out soon. Fuck me, man. <sighs> that means the server's going down, right? Mm, sadly, yeah. I would need the dedicated server, so whenever his power goes down, we can just build this entire town for him to come back to. No, yeah, we need a dedicated server. Like, 100%. I will, uh, wait, I can eat this? I can eat that. I've got a queen bee, by the way. We need those. That's how you build the beehives, to get honey to make mead. Wait, I've got a, I've got a queen bee. I won't kill her, even though I'm allergic to bees, so most of the time I would just fuck them up. Um... I don't actually want to put all my shit here, but I don't have a choice. Wait, the water just went up. Fuck. Yeah, there's actually tides and shit here. Okay, Let's very see. good to know. Because uh, I was building something. If you built, built yourself a fucking... Wow, he's got the longhouse already. Smaller, though. You need to go bigger. Mike Rock, how you doing, bro? Oh shit, this looks fucking good. I'm gonna die. Yep. Wow. Oh wait, wait. my god. Hey. Look at the look quickly look on the stream, guys. Quickly, quickly pay attention to what's happening on the stream. This is Truffle. Oh, what happened? Truffle bolt this. Look at this. Oh, damn. Well, we're scouting. He's already doing it. Yeah, he's like fucking bolt. He's already built the longhouse. Look at that. I mean, our longhouse is going to be better. I'm fucking jumping in the fire I'm and shit. Over and over and shit. So I'm dropping wood back off at the longhouse. You guys do realize we have to at some point. This looks fucking balling. But we do have to at some point go to um, the Black Forest, right? There's some farming yeah, there's... that we need that we need to do at the Black Forest. And it is That's dangerous. Where the right, give me your meat. Boy, Nick, get here. And we need to go uh, make offerings to the world boss. But that will probably only happen once we have the gear to advance to a different age. Yeah, we need to go to dungeons to get the cores so that we can build the uh, smelter to make bronze. I've got, I think I have cores. Hold up, let me just see. Pretty sure I've got. Sure. No, I've got no. gray dwarf eyes. Never mind. Yeah, the cores only come from the dungeons. All right, so we need we need cores in order to do this. Yeah, and most of the dungeons only have two cores, and you need I think it's either five or ten to make a smelter. Gathering wood takes a long time if you're low level. <laughs> also, yes. just almost yes. killed up with a tree. That can happen. Yes, I killed myself a few times. Oh yeah, I it just ro a log rolled into me and I took damage. <laughs> yeah, but I just knocked it, down like six seven trees over here. If you want to help me cut them down, they should be rolling down the hill, knocking about. Oh yeah, they're rolling down the hill, back, knocking a bunch of others. Oh, for anybody that does go into the dark forest, uh, you can use trolls to cut down trees that you don't have hatchet skills for. 
you just aggro them to follow you and then dodge their attack. Yeah, stand next to it. Yep, just chip bait them. That's how you, by the way, that's how you tame boars and shit. This game is fucking insane. Like, you have to tame the boar, get it into the little fucking uh, enclosure or whatever you call it, and then you have to feed it until it is your friend. Like, what the f what fuck, dude? How do you put a campfire a fire inside? Mike, Mike, are you guys still playing Rust? It is your house. Who was it to... that had a fire inside? Not have to use chimneys. I saw someone do that. I don't know. I think we said said mm -hmm. we were going to clear the four squares of the floor out for the fire. You could use this as well. I right? know the I was cross. in someone else's house any earlier, and uh, he definitely had. Uh, Oh yeah, I built. Yeah, yeah. I built the fireplace. How did you do that? You, uh, we need to do like when I get back, whenever the fuck that is, right? Uh, when my power comes back, we need to um, like when the with the roof, you don't have to leave the roof open. You can do wood crosses, like wood roof roof crosses, and then that will leave space on either side of the roof for the smoke to escape. So we don't have to do like leave tiles in the roof open. Mike, I will tell you this: this game is fucking ridiculously fun. This game is stupidly fun. There, there is so much shit that you can do here. Unless we might can have his house back. No, that's a. Uh, I'm not talking to Mike. I'm talking to Mike Rock, not Battle.net. Oh. Yeah, Mike Rock's one of my, like, old school WoW friends, like, fucking years ago. I don't even know how long me and Mike has known each other. It's probably over a decade now. Before power goes out? I almost feel bad for him. Why? I'm a good friend, bro. I'm a good friend to have. Just, just, just throwing shade. <laughs> <laughs> Lock dog, I have not looked at the new memes just yet. But Mike, the, this game, all right? So just small things here. The other day, we're building, yesterday, right? Last night, we're building away. We're having fun, you know, just doing our fucking shit. Suddenly, the entire sky turns dark and we have a god attacking our base. Like a fucking deer, literally massive deer boss, like a world boss attacking our base. And then everyone's just attacking the fucking, because it's going to wreck the base. Oh, I'm too fucking heavy. Never mind. Right. Sadly, guys, I have to go. Um, but I'll what I'll do is, what I'll do is, when my power comes back, I'll look into a permanent hosted server. I'll get us the same as we do with Rust. So I'll, I'll get us a permanent server that we can sort of play on. Um, so that even if I do log out, you guys don't get fucking kicked out of the. Uh, uh, you guys don't get kicked out of the game because right now you you're all gonna get kicked out I do apologize. I don't have power over this the power goes out and Yeah Then I'm stuck without fucking power for two and a half hours South Africa's back uh, backups the size of a few smartphones seems they're always out of power Baraksu, it's it's one big fucking conspiracy theory. It's literally one big lie. That's literally the whole time last night they said they needed to do loading load shedding to restore the reserves the emergency reserves yeah, but shedding means you're getting rid of excess power like no, literal but, definition of the word shed yeah, yeah but in south africa load shedding literally means the the grid is pushed to its maximum and they so have they to, need to they have to remove shed. people from the grid to oh yeah, the okay grid. you're shedding people okay that's yeah welcome so, 
they're basically shedding the load, making sure that the, the grid yeah, no, doesn't go down. Yeah, so we have load shedding. Um, last night it was to restore the emergency reserves, and tonight it's because uh, one of the units went down. And it's like, wait a second. Shouldn't last night have made sure that tonight doesn't happen because you have emergency reserves? No, no. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Last night Your was just for fucking fun. You're building a March Hadron Collider? Bro, I, would, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're secret, secretly building their own assholes. Like, these guys just don't know what to do. They legit have no idea. They keep... And the media does nothing. The media literally doesn't ask any questions. These guys go, yeah, sorry, we have to load shed. And the media goes, oops, load shedding, guys. But here's five things you can do during load shedding to pass the time. It's like... Go for, for a walk. Go dude, for a wank. Fucking job, you're the media, you're the ones who should figure out why the fuck this is happening, right? Your job isn't just to go, well, guys, here's five things to do during load shedding. Fuck off, I'll do five things without load shedding, thank you very much. Like, it's not necessary. So, yeah, it is a little bit I'm annoying. Gonna see what I can do with just a single player world try to figure this game out a bit unless people want to keep playing and somebody has a world Macmillan, don't uh, but I'm, I'm down to mess around and figure out how to, this game works more i'm planning to do exactly that gonna, uh, i don't think i'm capable of I'm to hosting that. the world because i'm sharing like my apartment complex there's like 32 people in there and uh, as soon as people start watching netflix mm, by bandwidth it, it doesn't actually affect your um like you well, hosting it, try. it doesn't Please. affect your internet at all, just by the way. Ravy G, uh, my... if, you, if you host it, at least it didn't affect mine. Uh, Synapse, um, I, right now I'm getting who you're 18 listening to down. Now? Yeah. And let's see the up speed. 18.85 down and 20. Point Oh, wait, no, 24, 20. Oh, we're climbing. That's so low, 23 though. up. Yeah, um, when I first moved into this apartment, I did a speed. Oh, actually, it's 25 up. Hmm. When I first moved in here, I did a speed test early in the morning at like 7 o'clock. 100 up, 100 down. And then in the uh -huh. evening, it dips down to these kinds of speeds. So I have, if I do a speed test right now on mine... Um... I'll tell you in a second. But uh, it's usually 200 hundred. Um Yeah, there you go. Two hundred and six down Ooh. and probably a hundred. Last week up. I filed an official complaint with uh, the landlord who then reconnected me to the telecom company that does the like well the telecom for this building. Because mm -hmm. I was even I wasn't even able to watch Netflix or play RuneScape. That's how bad it was. This is from Cool Ideas server, so it's not from mine. Like that's not my IP address for those of you that were wondering. This is from one of their taste servers. They have oh, taste oh. servers <laughs> all over the Thank God world. God I you just reminded me um, I was you know you know the snippet tool, Windows Shift yeah. S? Yeah. Yeah, I I I did that and I'm glad that I actually <laughs> did not put my IP in there. Oh, yeah. I don't know. In, in South Africa, luckily, it doesn't show our IP with speed test because uh, it connects me to their server for speed test, and that server is used for nothing else but speed testing. So it just shows the server that I'm connected to, and then that server goes to whoever the fuck, right? Yeah. Um, That's I actually abuse the fuck out of the snippet tool. <laughs> I don't even use the snippet tool. I have a different tool called Greenshot, they is literally called green shot, which allows me to basically take screenshots of everything. So if I click this button, I can take a screenshot of literally anything. You can't see it on the screen, but I can drag it to wherever I want to, what I want to screenshot. Yeah, that, that, that's basically that. the snip, snip a tool. Yeah. But I use the green shot one. But anyway, so... Uh, I, I wish I had such a fast download. Snappy, to answer your question, I basically only play with viewers. Like every single game that I play on the channel is always whatever the viewers want to play, 
and then just hang out in Discord. The guy you're hearing talking the whole time, uh, that's Ray VG, one of the viewers. Um, yeah, it's literally just viewers. Um, I have a few friends that I will play games with as well, but usually alongside viewers. So it's it's always with the viewers in some way, shape, or form. Well, it depends on how my power, like when my power comes back up. Like that literally all depends on that. I won't be streaming again tonight, but I will probably log into Discord and then we'll play again. Kaki, how you doing, bro? They're dying to trees. Gotcha. I watch all your YouTube videos. Just sadly never get around too much to catch streams, sadly. So now, I know there's a few people who don't really have time for the streams, and that's perfectly fine. Um, really happy to have you here, though. And sorry that it is at the end of the stream. Sadly, yeah, my country. But Macmillan, to answer your question very quickly, um, or your comment, the plan right now is to save up for a Tesla Powerwall. That's legit the plan. So I need to get a Tesla Powerwall. I need something that can just, like, whenever the power goes out, it should not affect me. And then just move away from this fucking country. Like, literally just get the fuck out of South Africa. So, uh, Ravi G, you guys can keep talking. I'll just mute myself here so that you guys can keep discussing where you're going to play and whatnot. But yeah, the, that's the plan, especially since we're now moving into a new house. Would it be cheaper to get a power wall or move to the US? The gray, um, it would be cheaper to move to the US. The problem is getting to the US, like getting that visa to move to the US. It's expensive, right? Uh, a power wall is about 30,000 uh, US dollars for a Tesla power wall. So that's not cheap. Uh, that is a lot of money. But I think well, the fun year can come and live in Switzerland. <laughs> I don't think Macmillan would fund that move. Um, also, I would never expect that from him. I could marry you, but my boyfriend is seven foot. Just keep your boyfriend, wild boy. <laughs> no, I'm I'm looking into different options. Like if I can't get to the US. Um, uh, I'll I'll first move to Ireland and then from Ireland figure out how to move to the US because Ireland's pretty easy to move to. For now, though, main plan is just to at least get the fuck out of like South Africa. But before I do that, I need to get away to make myself immune to this fucking government. Because if I once I'm immune to this government, uh, I can deal with most of the other things. If you can't get into the US, come to Amsterdam, plenty of sex and weed. I don't like weed, and I don't have time for sex, Adam, so. How you doing, Adam? It's never been, though. I, I mean, it's easier for me to get to Ireland. So Ireland is literally just get on a, fl uh, get on a plane and go to Ireland, right? That's it. Um, the only thing that's going to be different for me is because I don't need a job in Ireland. I'm going to have to organize, like, I'm first going to have to go to the embassy and sort of get their permission to move to Ireland. Although I don't think that should be a problem because I'm, what the fuck, I'm literally just going to fucking live there, right? I'm going to pay taxes there. I'm not going to work. So hopefully they won't have an issue with it. <laughs> Macmillan, uh... It's your aunt, that's impossible. Now, McMillan really isn't a millionaire. He just really supports the channel quite heavily. But he isn't a millionaire. He's an electrician. He does electrical work in Germany. If he was in South Africa, I would call bullshit on him saying he's not a millionaire. Because electricians in South Africa make a fuck ton of money. They make stupid amounts of money. But I don't know how the situation is in the EU. If you do not move out of the country, uh, what about your family back in South Africa? If you do move out of the country, um, top of morning to ya. Uh, nice to be here. How you doing, bro? I mean, my family can do whatever the fuck they want, right? If they want to stay here, that's their choice. If they want to leave, they can leave. 
I'm I'm not really I'm not too worried because most of my oh excuse me most of my family will also want to leave. The only person that will not leave is my dad. Like he refuses. He he's just gonna stay in South Africa forever. Made a human tower in the server we joined. How did you do that, Pumanki? Met in Germany, I earn around 1.9k euro a month. Is that good though, Macmillan? I mean, yeah, I can always come back and f I can always go back and forth, right? Like, I I mean, in terms of living standards, is 1.9k euro good in Germany for living standards? Have a one person spawn on top of the other, bottom person walks. Ah, uh, fuck, I wish I saw that. I wish I could see that. Is that just because of the town you live in, Macmillan? Or is it the town that you're living in? Or is it because maybe you just started? You're still sort of getting in to the industry? Or I'm a chippy in Ireland and I get more than Mac? A chippy? What the fuck's a chippy? Avatos. Doing this job for 19 years now. A carpenter. But you call him a chippy? Why why a chippy? McMillan, so maybe it's is, is it the town? Because I know the town that I was born in, almost every job in that town pays about 40% less than any other city in South Africa. On construction sites. That's weird, McMillan. In South Africa, the, the electricians that make all the money are the ones who work on construction sites. Like, that's where all your money is. You, you make a killing doing construction electric, uh, electricity in South Africa. That's just the name of it. Yeah, on it Universal. That is interesting. Uh, we don't, I don't think we call them chippier. <laughs> I do not think we call them chippies. Um, but yeah, Ireland, Ireland is sort of easy to get to. Like I said, all I need is to go down to the embassy and just discuss my situation with it. Um, because I don't need to work in Ireland. I just need to live there. So Ireland shouldn't be that hard. If I do, did need a job, for me as a South African to move to Ireland would literally be walking into Ireland and getting a job. You have three months as a South African. If you get to Ireland, if you can get a job within three months, you can stay. If you can't get a job, you have to fucking go home. I mean, if it if it is Ireland, it would probably be Dublin. Wherever the internet's the best, I guess. I, I don't know much about Ireland, to be fair. About as I genuinely don't know much about Ireland. I, I just know that it's it's one of the easier ones to get to. Just tell them you are a religious refugee from St. Savannah's Church. Yeah, probably go Dublin uh, and then at that point figure out how to move to the US one day. But anyways, guys, I, I legit don't have much time left. So I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to hang out with me, to spend your evening with me. I will be back tomorrow night. Hopefully tomorrow night we will not have uh, load shedding because it is Sona tomorrow night. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's the State of the Nation address. And it's never off for some reason during fucking sauna it's always on the electricity just runs no problems whatsoever so hopefully tomorrow night when the rest of the country is listening to my president lie his fucking ass off uh we can play games and not have to worry about it too much right so yeah also well boy it, you would be interested to know that the ministers in the president's homes they never have load shedding funny how that works right the rest of the country well yeah we get a lot of load shedding but if you're a minister or a president, your house is too important to be fucking load shedded. So, sort of fun. Anyways, um, I'm going to see all of you guys. Be kind to each other. Be good to each other. Thank you so much for all the support, all the love. Thanks for playing Valheim with me. I hope you enjoyed the Valheim stream. I will be back 
tomorrow night for more gaming, uh, more discussions. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be good to your loved ones. Give your wife, your husband, your, your kids a kiss. And cut each other some slack, right? Peace out, fam.